last we left off, <laughs> the, the party had made arrangements as best they could to cover their tracks and convince priests that they had nothing to do with the Dauntless's destruction. <laughs> But they were willing wink. to help if they could. <laughs> wink. <laughs> Doran actually wrote in the message to Priest with a wink. <laughs> Once these arrangements had been made, uh, they made their way to the Church of the Rock, where Doran deposited a considerable donation of 1,000 platinum, equivalent to a... Th oh, I'm sorry, 100 <laughs> platinum, <laughs> equivalent to 1,000 gold, um, to the church. If uh, I had 1,000 platinum, I think the party would have killed me. <laughs> yeah, just them. take it and go. They're set That's... for life. It's so much fucking it's money. So much. You can buy Direwood for that. <laughs> just wait ten years for somebody else to take and just buy it from him. Uh, he was <laughs> promised a list of priorities for the church so that he could decide how the funds would be allocated. Um, he also gave Yorlin a two-pound chunk of raw hysterium from Ground Zero. Uh, Malcolm took it upon himself to get to work immediately preparing it as a decorative headpiece for the altar. The party took the night to rest, have a hot meal, and ready themselves for the unknown challenge that awaited them the next day. During that time, through a collaborative effort, Doran successfully tested a new spell powered by Hysterium. The next day, they set out early in the morning for the tunnel system connected to the church, hoping it would lead them to the Queen or something of use. Their first challenge was a strange silvery white series of tunnels and caverns which, as best quickly found out, was infested with translucent gelatinous cubes. <laughs> The party found themselves surrounded by these creatures until Bess banished one as her friends battled the rest, giving them a means of escape. With uh, acidic slime decorating their path and one in one of Alistair's bottles now, uh, the party pressed on. Mm -hmm. They next found a well-lit pair of rooms with gargoyle statues tossed about in seemingly random orientations. Alistair used his illusory form to scout the area and found that some of the gargoyles actually came to life luckily unable to harm his illusion. He also found a couple of tight tunnels that led to rooms filled with gold, chests, and more statues. Relaying all of this to the party, Alistair devised a path through the rooms that would not disturb any of the living statues, and the party invisibly slipped through without any harm coming to them. Uh, much to his dismay, uh, he really wanted to check out those areas filled with gold. <laughs> Alistair also decided to take it upon himself to name several of the gargoyles. Uh, regardless, uh, as you continue past the statue-ridden cave, is there anything anyone would like to do or discuss before we move on? Uh, no. <laughs> Going first. You're not what? Well, you don't have to go first. Um, oh. six, you can lead. Actually, no. Take how first. were we? How we? How how were we positioned? Because we're. I'm not getting rid first. of our invisibility early. Yep, you're still invisible. Uh, I was, uh no. I uh, was indeed. In I the believe. Lead. Yeah, so six is leading, and we are all invisible. Lead us out forward. Yeah, I know that you guys have Alistair in your arms. Not, like, in your arms, but... No, he's being cradled. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like the little baby that he is. So invisible is order... Alistair is in the middle. I know. And then Alistair's double is out in front, leading. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So we have Alistair's double, then six Doran, real invisible Alistair. I never actually thought and then to Bess. use the double this way. It's like find familiar, but like better. I mean, it's not entire. If you're if you're walking in like a row like this, it's not entirely. If like somebody could piece together, there's Alistair, okay, six Doran, a weird space, and then Bess. <laughs> well, we're all invisible, so. Oh well, yeah, nobody would see anything. Yeah, it's literally just. <laughs> It, it appears visually as though Alistair is just walking on his own. Interesting. With, Good with his know. hand back, like, squeezed partially because he's holding someone's hand. True. But, like, there's nothing in his hand. <laughs> what an airbender, dude. It's fucking weird. Can you imagine seeing someone holding someone's hand but can't see the other person? So it's just, like, him, their hand back and gripped. I don't like that. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, Very well. If there's nothing else you guys would like to do... Uh, how long does my invisibility last? Just so I can tell you. Uh, so you we we know for future. I think uh, our spells hour, have right? the same duration. Hour, yep, one hour. So. Yeah. So. So does mislead. Yeah, mislead's probably only been for like five minutes or ten at most. I I think we we said for so sure. We went but ten. Ten. Yeah. So you got like fifty minutes left, and and the invisibility has like fifty eight. So you got okay. Um. So as you continue beyond the gargoyle cave, then. Uh, slowly, the sand begins to dissipate, and a familiar, dull cave setting begins to take hold once more. 
You walk another 15, 20, 30 minutes, or at least so you think. Um, keeping track of time is quite difficult underground. Um, you notice it's beginning to get colder, rather rapidly, in fact. You walk another five, ten minutes. How rapidly? Well, you notice it starts to get colder, and after five or ten minutes, um, you would all find yourselves kind of, if you're not in warm clothes, which you probably wouldn't be, rubbing your arms and I am. almost shivering. Like you're, it's, if you had to guess, it's probably almost freezing. Uh, just like the room I'm in right now. Fuck. The very second it starts to get cold, I go, I want warmer clothes. And now I'm in warmer clothes. And now you're in warmer clothes. And yeah. then I use my alter self ability to make my arms furry so they're even warmer. All right. Oh. I'm part for old. And now, uh, now you're furry and just covered in furs. And you're Doran's just fine. But everybody else, as, <laughs> as you start to, uh, Doran, you know your invisibility maybe has another 10 to 15 minutes left. A uh, mislead may, maybe has another five. Um, you guys, as it's getting quite cold, you notice up ahead um, the cave, this, this tunnel you're in once again opens up into a larger cave system. And there's a blue flickering up ahead this time. It seems almost as if a blue flame were illuminating the chamber ahead. How would you like to proceed? Uh, allow me for the remainder of the spell. I'm going to as we're walking, move Alistair forward double my movement speed, which is what it normally is. So he's going to scout out. Okay. Uh, he's going to fucking, fucking sprint in the head and see what happens. Basically, Is yeah. this... Is this blue glow similar to the red glow from the treasure chest rooms? Um, not quite. Um, it's okay. similar to the glow you saw as you're entering the gargoyle caves, um, where you, the recognizable, familiar flicker of a flame or multiple flames illuminating the room, but this seems to be blue. Yeah, um, so th uh, 60 feet ahead. Okay, so Alistair... Um, you leave the party for a moment, or you're a double does anyway, and you begin moving forward uh, rapidly uh, toward this blue flickering. And what you see after walking for just a minute or so, um, the cave opens up, and you can see stalagmites and stalactites littering the area, as well as ice. Um, it almost looks as though, like, the stalactites up top are covered in ice. In fact, they may be ice themselves entirely, and there are tricklings of ice. It almost looks like waterfalls or spouts once existed in this cave, but are now frozen, as well as a small, what appears to be a pond, maybe? Completely frozen as well. And atop that frozen pond is a very strange contraption, a metallic contraption holding a blue flame that is illuminating the entire room. It's a large blue flame and bouncing off of the, the ice within the, the entire room. It's it's dazzling. It's actually kind of nice. Um, this blue light just flickering all about the room. But the one strange thing, you can see clearly the path ahead, the, the exit to this cave, but you can see also littering the ground at least a couple dozen mirrors. Small, maybe, mirrors that you could probably hold with two hands in decorative gold fixtures of some sort. I will show you the map now. This is what you're looking at. Are the mirrors affixed to the ground or just sitting there? Um, can your illusory double interact physically with objects? Uh, no, because it's an illusion. So Alistair would have no way of knowing. But I presume he describes everything as I just did. Yeah. That doesn't sound like a trap. It's very blue in here. If it was green, you would die. That's the factual. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right <sighs> off. S, can what? you control ice? Me? Uh, yes. Uh, no, I think we found that out on the, uh, on the ship. Yes. With control right? water? With control water. Uh... So I tried to, I tried to form the key out of water, and we couldn't freeze it. I, I actually don't think you ever tried to do that. 
Uh, I think you did. I asked if I could do that with control water. You said no. Sorry. Yep. I'm looking at it now. It says you control any freestanding water. Um, I wouldn't call ice freestanding water. So I think I I said no. Would you? No. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) But I would. I'm willing to hear arguments that I think that's just, yeah, that sounds familiar. I think that's how I ruled it. So ice is basically free sitting water. (laughs) Free prone water. (laughs) So. Uh, your your illusory double is still there. Is there anything you wanted to do with it, or is the party going to move up together invisibly? Uh, well, I'm going to walk and stand atop of one of these mirrors. Okay. You walk and over. Okay. You walk over and look into. You stand. At, you stand literally atop well, of. I'll, I guess. I'll stand in front. I'll stand in front of it. Okay. You you stand Are over they, like, one. Are they like propped up like this? Um. Just, like, yeah. Mirror they side. They look like a mirror. They have a flat. Uh, bottom as if you could put it on like a vanity like desk type thing um okay. and and you know claire you know you have one of those on your vanity yeah the, but it's really tiny how big are these these alistair you can now see the the actual mirror itself is probably about a foot in diameter so they're they're pretty large uh for that kind of mirror uh but they they, they are just kind of flat on the ground as if they were just placed there um you can't touch it with your illusory double to see if they're like fixed somehow but looking in you see your illusory double. Oh, I didn't consider this. Um, <laughs> Wrench in the plan. <laughs> you know what? This is still your... No. Okay. Um, I'm going to take you to Secret Secrets. Okay. His- you have thrown a fucking wrench in things, but I'm just going to go with it. Give me this spell. Yeah. Um, as you look in into this one, you see, where does Alistair want to be five years, ten years? What what does he oh, want to be as a Jesus. person? As of right now, he's been thinking recently, wherever the Queen's desk is in the New Republic. He wants it. Yeah, he wants to take the New Republic over. Then you see, you see the, the, the cave ceiling, but it's as if the cave has been inverted and you're facing... And it is now facing horizontally. And you see yourself behind you. Lean back in a cozy chair. Feet kicked up onto the desk. Paperwork. Drugs. A uh, a band playing in the distance nearby. Piles of gold. Friends. Fuck, I made a pimp. Alcohol. You are... You see yourself running the New Republic. And it is a good life. A life... With troubles, a life with problems and things to solve, but things that give you purpose. What is it's life a, without trouble? It's it's a nice image. It's a very nice image. Neat. I'll bring you back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure is it the same how thing? to take that. <laughs> take it as a compliment. You ask, is it the same in that one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I gotta take him back with Secret Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Every single mirror is different. <laughs> secret Secrets 15 times. I gotta say, I think there's more than 15 mirrors there. It's yeah, true. I don't know how to count. So, um... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I keep wanting to use the analogy with Harry Potter, but Harry Potter doesn't fucking exist in this universe. Um, it's showing the mirror shows at least me what my wants are right now, like what what I want to happen, where I want to be. Hmm. This one does. This one also does. I don't. I don't I, know about the other ones. Well, um. I think and I don't know we, what happens if a real person does it. I think, in all honesty, we should take our invisibility, use it to our best of our advantage, and sprint across this room. In a mirror. What? Yeah, bad idea. No, I, I yeah, thought we kind of want to take you. one. I don't want to touch the mirrors. I don't want to take the mirrors, and I definitely don't want to look. I really just don't want anything to do with them. I think we should um, expedite and get to um. Not these. I'm gonna actually go over and also inspect the fire. 
Okay, and I presume you're not you're gonna not look at any mirrors as you go. Correct. Okay. Um, uh, averting your gaze from any mirrors, you walk over to the fire, and upon closer inspection, can, can you feel like can you feel through your illusory double temperatures or anything? Uh, I thought it was only seeing and hearing. You become visible at the same time that an illusory double view appears. You're standing double at. Oh, I'll just cast it. Uh, you can see through its eyes and see through its ears as if you were located where it is. See through its ears. Um. Okay. Yeah. So it just yeah. Here through its see, ears. You can see in here. It's using so, its ear no. balls. Um. You move over, and it, it is as I described before. Uh, actually, make a perception check. I'm really good at those. No, you're not. I am. Um... Let's see. Okay, you are. D six. Okay. Um, I've got a plus ten modifier. So. Good God. You like all my move Christmas. over, moving closer. You you just kind of casually inspect this strange contraption. It's of metallic make. Um, there are chains almost bolting this thing into the ice. And noticing that, um, it is this blue fi blue and white fixture with this blue flame centered in it. Um, you looking into the flame, you can't see what's fueling it. it doesn't appear anything is. Uh, but inspecting these chains, you can see this little pond, this little cavernous pond lake thing um is is riveted in like the the chains are riveting into the ice and as you're inspecting that you notice a figure of some kind underneath the ice almost like a humanoid person maybe it's just a vague shape reaching and it looks as though they're reaching up toward the flame you can't see any facial expression you can't tell what else they're wearing or if they have anything on them but there's a humanoid figure under the ice re reaching toward the center of the flame from underneath. I think we should give it to him. I think we should leave as I try. Like, am I? No, Six is still in the lead. Six, you should guide us to the exit. Okay. I turn back to the party. Okay. I well, thanks, Anthony. He's frozen the in there that we're out here and that he's the <laughs> shit. <laughs> That will always be one of my favorite memes, Isaac. You're frozen out here, and you're there. You just remembered that you're out here, and you want to know where's the caveman. <laughs> okay, so what is the party doing? I lead uh, us dude under the ice. toward the flame. The ice is moving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to move your token, but your token was placed after that was. So Yeah, there you go. So um, the, re the rest of the party is entering? Still yeah. invisible. Yeah. yeah. Uh... As Six tries to pull us towards the flame, I pull him aggressively and go, No! Bad Six! I, I look in this mirror as we walk by. Fucking hell. That Don't one right, right there. I'm also going to take a peek in this mirror as well with the double. Is Sorry. it the same thing? Clara, we're still. I just heard like toe right. Um, still invisible, okay. right? You are still invisible. Going to the fucking seven gods I know of. But if you guys are being kind of towed along by Six, um, as he's uh, he tries to pull you toward the flame, and Dora goes, no, no, no! Six seems to... I mean, you don't actually see this, but there's a pause for a moment, like as you're all kind of hand-in-hand hand invisibly moving through. Um, it would be probably about at this point that Atlas Dare's illusory double would fade. Um, ah, fuck. So we'll put you back there. Um, I oh, I'm the, order. the only visible one. <laughs> Wait, if... Yeah, I'd be the only visible one. <laughs> You would, because you cast... Yeah. So if I'm invisible, and then I get invisibility cast on me, does that one overpower my spell? Uh, so, like, you if just my duration wears off, would I... Okay, cool. Because you, you're casting an effect, and you Double have another effect on you that they don't interact at all. Um, invisible 2 is just intangible. <laughs> invisible 2. Um, Dude, if we if I could become intangible, that'd be broken. This, in, uh... There's a spell for that. It's called etherealness. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just don't have it, so okay. I can't become tangible. But as you guys are <laughs> continuing, Alistair appears visibly now, and Six. Oh, yeah. uh, the, the line slows for just a moment as Six stops to look into the mirror. Um, Six, do you want to go to Secret Secrets for this? Yes, I okay. do. All right, let's go. I rarely get to go to Secret. Jason, where does Six want to be in five years? What does he want to be doing? What kind of person does he want to be? Uh, Six would like to relax. Um, he would he would very much like Dire would to be a a place again, a a um 
I guess we could say thriving, that would be best case scenario, uh, city, and he would be somehow kind of overlooking that, not necessarily making a lot of, uh, you know, like military decisions or whatever, but but he would love to have a role in the community. Okay. You, Maybe own a bar. Yeah, you, you look into, that's exactly what I was going to go for, you look into the mirror, and though the mirror is on the ground facing up, um, you're looking into it, and you see a horizontal, like a right-facing image. Uh, behind you is Six, uh, sat behind a bar, or not sat, stood behind a bar, kind of one elbow on, coolly leaning against it. His friends, your comp- your companions, your party on the other side, all enjoying a drink. Um, it's a warm tavern, and though it is just an image you are looking into, you can smell delicious ales and recognize them as your own home brews. Um, and behind you is a placard. Former Commander Six. And you recognize, almost as if, you know when you're in a dream and you just know certain details about the scenario, even though there's no reason you should, you know that this is in the heart of Direwood, a restored Direwood that you helped to rebuild. And you are a little older, a little more grayed, but Mm -hmm. comfortable and happy. Relaxed. Okay. That seems to track with what Alistair had to say, so. All All right. right. I'll bring you back. Thank you. You're not. All right. With that, as the line stops, it kind of slows for just a moment and then actually comes to a stop. I um would like to feel up his arm and smack him on the back of the head. Your image is very, very abruptly interrupted. <laughs> uh, there is a satisfied, uh, uh, and and six continues to move. <coughs> I keep my eyes down. Down, like toward the mirrors. No, away from the mirror. Like, I want to do my best to not look into any mirror. Okay, you're doing your best not to look into any mirror. Six, are you going to be... Uh, if you are leading, if you'd show me your path, are you going to also be averting your gaze as best you can from all of the mirrors? Uh, no, I will not. Okay. Simply because what I saw did not bother me. So I sort of feel like, meh. Okay. Um, as, the, as Six begins to tell you guys a little further... Um, unbeknownst to you, still, actually, I'm going to stop you right there. Unbeknownst to you, still looking into the mirrors around you. Six, as you pass by this mirror and look into it, Mm -hmm. a different image. And I'm actually going to take you into Secret Secrets once more. This one will be a little more quick. Twice in one session. (laughs) As you look into this mirror here that I'm pinging, um, Mm -hmm. a different image. You're not comfortably sitting or standing behind a, a cozy tavern you're in the cave and you see behind you Durathil but it's not Durathil it's a shadowy figure much like Durathil and you see him on the ceiling the cave ceiling holding on to one of the icy stalactites one two blades and in each hand he's got one arm wrapped around and he looks Actually, there's no facial expression. He looks stoic. And as you look into the mirror and ponder what this could mean, the image drops down atop you. And I'm going to bring you back as we roll initiative. Good guy. So, Uh, you just hear, uh uh-oh. As as the the line is kind of slowly being towed by six, yeah, you hear an uh uh-oh. When suddenly there's a, a shadow that whoosh, falls from above you all and lands what you imagine to be next to six. And I need everyone to roll initiative. I say, sorry, Alistair, as I get ready to run away from him. Yeah. And <laughs> I, it is also important to mention the this shadowy figure appears to look like Durathil with two blades drawn. And he looks stoic. No expression. The first thing I say is just, I told you not to look. <laughs> Just exasperated. Like sarsaparilla. Ooh, good word. Sarsaparilla? That is a good word. i honestly not the most sure of the meaning of it, but I like saying it. It's, it's, a, it's a root. Okay, I, I, it's a type of plant, right? Oh, is it it's a type root, of... Yeah. Oh, it's is a type like of a plant. Root? I thought sarsaparilla was it's a type like, of beverage. I knew like there was a drink. Yeah, I knew like there was a drink. Yeah, you make it into uh, tea. It's made to a, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Um, or 
Sassafras. Another fun word. I was muted the whole like time, rupert. but I was going to say Sassafras is one of the main ingredients in root beer. Gotcha. Uh, um, another fun word is Snuffleupagus. Okay, so that's why I thought it was a type of beverage. That and Fallout. Um, is it, has everybody added their modifiers to their initiative rolls? Yeah. Yes. yes sir. Uh, um, what six, about Ogopogo? Six, what is your modifier? Five. I added mine. Five. Okay. His ass rolled a ten. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. Uh, Doran and Bess, who's going first? You... Nobody comments on Ogopogo, said. Oh, uh, um, what? Like Okanagan's uh, Loch Ness Doran monster. Doran and Bess, who's going this. first? You guys get to decide as you roll the same. Alistair, are you an Ogopogo fan? Ogopogo, yeah. He's one of the monsters in Final Fantasy. Hey, remember when I was oh, asking Doran and Bess a question? Yeah. Uh, I, Bess, if you want, I can go first. Yeah, I'm a fan. No, I'm yes, Doran can go first. It's not picking up my audio. I'm sorry. Oh, weird. I thought they were just interrupting you over and over. Sorry. Uh, okay. With that, then, Doran will be going first. We'll keep that order as it is. Doran, you are still invisible. In fact, everybody but um, Alistair is still invisible as this shadowy figure leaps upon you. Um, and um, we rolled initiative because it is very clearly has hostile intent. Blades drawn, looking toward an invisible six. Um, Doran, what are you going to do? So it doesn't, it, it's looking at where six is. It's looking at where you presume six is based on the hand you're currently holding. I know what, I, I know what six's hand feels like. Every yeah. now and then when we're walking, I turn my hand to match his, and it's fucking weird. That would be weird if you were holding somebody's hand and then all of a sudden you just like felt a shift in their skin and their hand felt oddly familiar like yours. That'd be very <laughs> uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm not well, sure that I would recognize it was my hand, just that it was a different hand. That's probably true. That's, yeah. So, Doran, what's it going to be? Oh, fuck, uh, that feels like my hand. I feel them every night. <laughs> what? Did you say, I do. yes, this is my hand. <laughs> oh, does it snap? Interesting. Snicker snack. Snack. Um. Honestly, I'm just gonna try to walk by. You're gonna walk by him? Yep. I'm gonna go up. Okay. The mirrors are facing whatever way the metal, like the the circle is, right? Um. No, they're all just facing up. They're all just laid uh, flat on the ground, facing up. Oh, I asked I'm... if they were propped up, and you said yes. Did I? Yeah. No. Yeah. It was like, are they like this, and then like this, and then the mirror coming out like that? And you were like, yeah. Oh, I must have thought I was like describing what they looked like, not how they were oriented. Oh. My mistake. No, that's all good. They're all laid flat. I am going to go up 10, and then kind of sneak to back here. That's my goal. 10, 20, 30. I presume not looking at any mirrors. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, as you do so, keeping your eyes up as best you can, and then look in, and focusing on this illusory double of, of uh, Durathil. Uh, he doesn't seem to... Either he doesn't notice you invisibly, or he doesn't care about your presence. Okay. I'll move to there. And go, I'm over here! Okay. My, Mr. Minecraft. I fucking... <laughs> uh, I forgot about him. Alright, Bess, what <laughs> and are it was you great. doing? Um, can you guys hear me better now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I switched to my phone, so... Um, I am gonna take one step back and watch what's happening. You're That's gonna all watch. I'm gonna do now. Okay. I'm oh fuck you. Okay. <laughs> you take a step back and watch as the Durathil, um, the Shadow Durathil, rears his blades back, and with speed you've only seen in one person in your life. Unleashes a flurry of blows upon six. Oh. Uh oh. Um, so he can see six. Hey six, what's your modifier to hit? My two hit modifier is oh. five. Five? Okay, so that's a twenty-four to hit. Um Oof. then a six is getting the Wait, treatment it's only a five? of your own medicine treatment. Oh no, that's my dex plus uh you, I imagine you're proficient with your fists as their your main yeah, weapon, yeah. so would that be nine? Uh, yep, nine. Nine? Okay, so that was a uh, 28 to hit, and then a uh, 17 Ugh. to hit. That misses. Uh, another a uh, a 27 to hit, so that's two hits. Damn it. Um, a 12. And um, what's your... Do you get four or five attacks with Flurry? Four. 
four. Okay, so two hits as he he swings his swords back and forth with speed you've only seen in six before. Um, you're going to take. Yeah, I am. It's the second time you fought. We fought things that are like ourselves. It is. I didn't think about that. Um, <laughs> you're gonna take a total of seventeen damage. You would expect slashing. You would expect to cut and 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 burn and, and sting like a cut, but it's more like a. You, as you get a moment, as you glance down quickly, as you're kind of reaching your arms back and trying to dodge, with two of which you are able to dodge, you notice the cuts aren't... They're almost blackened. This is necrotic damage. Oh. All right. And then he actually is going to stay put. Six, it is your turn. Um, I told you not to fucking look in the mirrors. <laughs> Alistair looked at him first. Which, uh, this was, this was the mirror that I glanced in to yes. initiate this? Yes. Uh, I go, ah, and I kick the mirror, trying to break it. Okay, um, roll the hit. Uh, ro just roll, roll a melee attack. Roll a, roll a kick. Let's see the damage on it. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. Uh, I clicked it. Oh, good. Oh, what? shit. Oh, we'll take the first. For a 26, right. um, you go, ah, shit! And with a, a swift kick, you 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 kick the mirror, uh, and it's you, there's a shattering of glass, and some is spread around the floor as it is kicked and uh, about 10 feet back. And the mirror is certainly shattered, and with it, Durothril disappears. Oh, 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 okay. Lucky guess. But you as, he does so, as he Don't does look so, in the mirrors. Six, you watch as you kick the mirror and it shatters and you're like, oh, did I do it? You look over and you watch as Durothil kind of stands upright, gives you a nod, and then slowly vanishes, like fades away. Interesting. I now look at the visible six and go, fucking don't oh, look! You are visible now because you attacked. <laughs> If you turn around like um, an Alistair, you see him with his cane upside down in his hands so that the part with the iron cane focus is like a baseball bat at the end. He goes, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying something, and it's going to be fun when I get to use it. You're, you're just going to... All right. Um, I'm over here. Okay. Don't um, look at the I'm, mirrors. I'm really interested in what happens if we like put out this fire. I don't think that's our objective. <laughs> Six, how's this? We'll, here, here, let's let's do this. After uh -huh. we handle the queen and get rid yes, of all yes. the rats, you can mm -hmm. come here and fuck with the fire. Six, okay. I'll happily come back with you. Deal. I'm sure you can also convince some people from the New Republic. You'll be fire fucking buddies. I don't think my buddies would do that. Fire fucking friends. <laughs> I don't think my friends would do that either. I would if the fire was into it. I if thought you were going to say if the fire is hot, and I was going to be really upset. Oh, yeah, wow, missed opportunity. Yeah, I, that's what I was expecting, but... I'm Dude, glad. my mind is not like it used to be. I'm getting oh. old. All right, I grab onto <laughs> Six's arm again. Uh, okay. All right, so I need to keep track of this for myself. It is now Six. I'm going to make uh, I'm gonna make a mark on Doran, because you're still invisible. Let's just do uh, that. And Bess is also invisible. Yeah, you probably have another, what, 10 or 15 minutes on that? Ooh, Fuck, God. I forgot to mute myself. I'm sorry. You're fine. I enjoyed it. Uh, it pretty hot. That's <laughs> gross. You're gross. Um, but, yeah, I'd, I'd just basically be like, let's continue our normal being invisible for a little bit, and then we can... You got. You can come back, Six. We, once we finish our, you know, few goals, you can come and free whoever's in that fire ice. Good. Um, uh, in the I, meantime, oh, go ahead. I drink a minor healing potion. Certainly. I believe that's 2d4 that... plus 4. Sounds about Oops. tight. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love 2d4. <laughs> uh, yep, 2d4 uh, plus 2 it is. So, five. Five. Great. so it'll, be, <laughs> yeah, it'll be 5 you get, not 4. My mistake. tight lip Jason knows what he's doing. I still don't know what that means. It means your lips are tight. I don't know. What that means. You don't tell secrets. You're not, you don't have loose lips. So okay, are you guys? You can fit a lot between your lips. Are you guys? I um, do not look at any more mirrors. 
Okay. Uh, and I tell everyone to make sure not to look in any mirrors. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought the goal here was to look in all of them. All right, just please move. I, I hate you all. <laughs> Joe's Doran just kind of sighs. All right. So you guys are all um, exiting? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I want to try something now, but I'm not going to because it's too far away. <sighs> okay. You all continue to the other end of the cave here, carefully maneuvering around uh, uh, broken glass and yeah. mirrors. Looking up or wherever you need to to not look at the mirrors as much as some of you want to. As we move through, are we colder when we get closer to the fire? Uh, did anybody go near it? I, I went from here. I, I, I purposely went closer and then farther away. You did. You did. You made a point of that. Uh, you would you would notice that the flame, quote unquote, is in fact cold. Um... Oh, I want to try something stupid. You just... Okay. Wait, you yell at me for that. Yeah. Yes, yes, but I'm going to do something stupid from a distance. All right, me too, then. No, no. Six? <laughs> I'm just going to throw a firebolt towards the fire and see if it puts it out. Good idea. I'm not going to aim at the fire. I'm going to purposely try to miss it. But if it gets close enough, I'm, ass I'm, I'm assuming if it is, that is the source of the cold down in this shithole, it will illustrate in my firebolt. Do it. I will do that so one such thing. I will aim a firebolt away, like, just trying to miss it and, like, hit the wall or at an angle and go closer to the ceiling. But, like, I want my firebolt to get as close to the fire as possible. Okay. Um, where are you standing it. when you launch the firebolt? Um... Here, aim for the stag type. From just oh, straight, just straight aiming, trying to miss it. Okay. And it hit that. Okay. Um. Right. So. Okay. Cool. You launch a firebolt uh, adjacent to this cold flame, and you watch. Uh, um. Yeah, you can do so easily enough. You you watch as it passes by. It's almost as if the cold flame sucks in some of the, the orange red hot flame from your firebolt. And you watch as it intermingles and mixes and dances within the blue flame. And then disappears. And there's a moment of silence. And then uh, after the, the uh, of your firebolt hits the stalagmite. And then there's a... As from the um, six almost snowflake-like... Um, appendages of this metallic uh, objects holding the blue flame, little motes of your red fire shoot out. I think you, we should leave. Are you telling me that if I fireball this, we can get six fireballs? Let's let's just go, please. Okay, uh, we're <laughs> six. We're coming back to this. That, that thing interacted with my arcane energy, which is not anticipated. But did my fire get dimmer as it got closer? Then no. It just it, no. it it remained as you'd expect, except some of it was almost siphoned off into this blue flame. I don't like that. Let's go. Okay. Okay. If there's we, nothing we else, only, we only have like ten more minutes of being invisible. At least the two of us who are invisible. But me and Bess really don't want to be hit. Wait, you just cast a spell. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm invisible. You're busy. <laughs> Uh, Bess is still invisible, though. Bess is the only one left invisible, really showing down, who oh. has self-control in this party. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's move. I had self-control. Mine wore oh. off. That's I, will, I will keep Bess invisible. And I kind of sigh as I keep moving. Keep <laughs> rock and move. Thank you. I didn't even think of that. Neither did I. Oh, that's really funny. Sorry. Okay. As you all carefully maneuver around broken and unbroken glass and look where you need to to not look at the mirrors, you exit this cave. What did you see? Six? I, I saw Dorothy drop from the ceiling. I meant then... before. In the good, the mirror that you liked, obviously, or the one that you stopped in front of for an extended period of time before something attacked them. My mistake, yes. No, it was very much as Alistair described, um, something that uh, that I, I, I saw something I wanted, essentially, uh, for the future. What do you want? Uh, I would like Direwood to be uh, restored to its former glory, and I would like to have a place in that town. So 
sounds wonderful. Let's um, we will make that one happen. Okay, that sounds good. All right, um, you guys continue walking now. Uh, another five, ten, fifteen minutes. Unfortunately, your invisibility does end. So, Bessie, you are now visible. The whole party is now visible. Um, Lay. So, you continue walking another 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes or so. <clears throat> until the coldness eventually does subside as you as you exit the area of that strange blue flame. Um, and eventually the narrow cavern widens to about 20 feet. So, you have a bit more breathing room. You feel a bit less cramped. Um... And ahead of you guys, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming Bess is still casting the light cantrip whenever they need it. Uh, I have dancing lights. The second I'm not visible, I'll have those four globules. All right, so you have Claire, are you there? I don't think she is. Um, oh, they, she they, took, they a, are, took a pause. Okay. They are hysterical. No, I'm here. I'm just making a snack. I, oh, I would sorry. be casting light. Yes, okay. sorry. Okay. Um, between that and the four, it, it, that's a cantrip, isn't it, Dor Dorn? Yeah, mine's yeah, a cantrip. So, I'll make them so, hysterium purple, if so, possible. Some hysterium purple globules and, and a light cantrip on Bess's shield. You guys have enough illumination. Um, up ahead of you, eventually, about about 20 feet, um, is the, the this cavern tunnel. This it, it, it abruptly ends with a smooth stone wall, obviously carved, uh, man-made. And... Affixed into the stone wall are two large wooden doors. And um, I'll bring you to that map now. Um, if you avert your attention to the left side of this map. Uh, the... Hold on, check your Snapchat when you have a second. What are the chances that she knows we're coming? A hundred percent. Alright, I'm glad we've made it through the Queen's Dungeon Part 1. And I look at Holden, having read the YouTube video. Hey, I messaged him about that earlier when it came out. <laughs> yeah, he was like, hold on, isn't that spoilers? And I was like, well, you guys kind of all surmised quite strongly that this, that's where this was going one way or another. So, like, I'm sure, I guess. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I look into the camera. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 uh, um, all right, so mm. she probably knows we're coming. Hold on, I sent oh, you that okay. for what's going to happen soon. Oh, okay. I'm going to save that image. Thank you. Um. Ugh. It's, it's hard to find someone who draws canes on Twitter. So, um, do we want to knock? Be cordial. Are there knockers on the door? Are there? Is there no. a keyhole? Simple what, what do knobs. We, nothing. No keyhole. Just knobs. simple two knobs, two wooden doors. Do we want to knock? Do we want to just come in? I I, I want to I want to do this properly. I think we should knock. See what happens. Alice there? I think knocking is the cordial thing to do. I knock okay. four times. Okay. How many times each time do you knock? You just one. knock once four times? Okay. Yeah, I just knock four times, my guy. He knocks why, four why times. Gonna... There is a brief pause as you all await whatever's going to happen. A little bit, bit of anxiety fills the air. And there's silence. And then a simple, just one click from behind the doors. She locked us out. <laughs> They're made of wood, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I, I look at her and go, the, the wooden doors. What, if, if, she try, if whoever's behind this door tried to lock it, it wouldn't do a whole lot. I'd like to try to open it. Because Maybe what if it's are... unlocking it? Okay, my signal light, Clara. You're just going to open one? Sure. Sure. Okay. You reach down and you take the doorknob and it opens. Hi, we're selling these fine leather jackets. Uh, have is you it heard a about the door or a pull door? Oh, it is a Which pull. Which side are the hinges on? The hinges are on the walls. Um, so, on the That's outermost not side a of side. each. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I, on the left side door, they're on the left. On the right side door, they're on the right. They're not there hinged to each other in the center. That would be weird. Uh, <laughs> inside or outside, I believe, you doing. is what he's asking. I'm going to make a dungeon with doors like that. I, you know, okay, that's fair enough. If I was really trying to throw you for a loop, that's some bullshit I could do. Um, I will show they're you actually now. actually Is it a push or a pull door? Yes. I'll show you now what you see. It's actually a lift door. It goes into the ceiling. Ooh. 
ahead of you. Whoa. As the door opens and you pull it toward you, you see several rugs uh, of varying qualities, but you would rec recognize some of them as quite fine in detail. And a message inscribed in white just beyond them. And white's like chalk of some kind or something. They're very solid. Please wipe your feet. And further ahead, welcome home. Um, I would not touch those rugs quite yet. Is there a way for... Six, you can basically run on walls. Here, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get rid of the doors because you've opened them. I don't know... The doors vanish like, before our very eyes. What? No, fuck it. Yeah, sure they do. I don't know. <laughs> but Six, you can basically run on walls. I, I don't know what you mean by basically. <laughs> Six, you can run on walls. Can you cross over without touching the rugs and see if any of them uh, react? Uh, react to me not touching them. If you get close enough, maybe they'll reach out and try to swipe at you. Understood. Um, I've certainly. had gar I've had rocks come to life. A, a firebolt that sucked that was sucked into another flame. I'm not taking any fucking chances. Let's start here-ish, and then yeah, just five, ten, and then up up on the wall. Um, the ceiling uh -oh. is only about ten <laughs> feet tall. Um, so like you you probably could do this. Um, but I am going to require an acrobatics check because you don't have a lot of room to run up and there's only no like a 10 foot tall ceiling. So it, it'll be difficult, but you, you sir, if anyone could do it, six could. Uh, and so your goal is to off. just pop over there, r wall run across. Yeah, wall run across and, and land there. -ish. Make an acrobatics check. I can do Big that. whammy. Wait, no whammy. Wait, big whammy. No. <laughs> A 19? Okay. Um, you guys watch as Six um, goes all the way back, gets a run up, runs up uh, up the wall and across, um, and with it, it, it looks like he's struggling a little bit just because he doesn't have a lot of room to work with here, but he gets one leap, two leap, three off the off the wall, and with the third, he pushes off and lands there. Um, it's a bit of a rough landing, but he, he lands and skids a little bit, looks back at you guys. He's made it, but as he I reaches bow. the other side, he bows, and there's another click within the room. Did, like know, where did, yeah, where did it originate? It echoed throughout the entire room. Thirteen gargoyles. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything we didn't kill. Uh, did Darn. any of the rugs interact? Like, move or try to... Anything? Rugs didn't move. Uh, I wish you would quit getting me in trouble, Thorin. Fuck you. Uh, I'm casting the, fine traps. At the dots. <laughs> You're getting <laughs> me in here. trouble, Thorin. Fuck you. I cast fine traps. I look at the holes in the walls while he does that. Okay. You look, uh, make a, an investigation check for me. Mm -hmm. hey, shit! Oh, bless you. It's me. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm mm. just looking at the specifics of the spell here. Um, it would inflict a sudden or unexpected effect you consider harmful. Okay. Um... Area of affected by the alarm spell, glyph, and warning. Okay, okay. Uh, here's how I'm going to interpret this. So, Six, you look into these holes here. Um, also, Blake, your camera is stuck, and it's a very flattering. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to reconnect then. Anyway. That's great. Um, Check this out. It's, it's such a nice smile. Pizza, yeah. uh, pizza egg roll. Ew. Weird. My dad that tried to make delicious. it. Well, he used the like egg roll parchment, but he put like pizza ingredients in it. That sounds delicious. It's actually really good. Um, so, Six, as you look into this first hole here, um, you don't see anything. It, it's quite dark. Um, but it does look like uh, the... You notice now that there is a translucent liquid um, that is kind of coating the inside of this hole. Um, and okay. it's And there, there's a, a patch kind of just beneath the hole where it looks as though, you know, be from this liquid running over and over, there's a, there's a small alteration to the color of the wall. And as you're looking into that, um, Doran casts detect tr or find traps. And Doran, uh, the room lights up. <laughs> Literally the entire room is a trap. Except, Doran. except actually for the, the chalk that says, please wipe your feet and welcome home. Uh, six. Dorit. Everything's a trap. I wish you would quit getting me into these situations, Dorit. <laughs> I have done no such thing. You have complete free will. Everything's a trap. 
Nobody fucking move. Everything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Everything's a trap. Uh, six stops moving. Everything is a trap, including what's behind where the doors were? Or uh, everything in the room forward? Everything, yeah, from, like, the precipice of the room where the doors are that you've opened and have just removed for the sake of simplicity. Um, ev everything is a trap. Um, how long is this hallway? Uh, I mean, we can find out. It's, uh, 110, 110 feet. Alistair six? looks at Doran. Oh, go ahead. Uh, you looked at me as I said six. What, I look back. Uh, round two, I say casting mislead. I would have just said, I don't waste your magic. I would have just used that wall of force and we could have just walked. Where? All the way to the door. Okay, you've got the floor covered. Don't what about the other four walls? Tuck the, is the wall and ceiling all glowing too? I thought the walls had holes in them with um, ooze okay. dripping. The... Mm -hmm. These don't look good. Asking specifics like this. So the floor, the entire floor of this place is glowing. The walls are glowing. In fact, particularly they're glowing at the holes where Six is looking and in <sighs> this vicinity. And in fact, there is also a glowing wall here kind of about where I'm pinging. Okay. Um, you don't see anything there, but that, that is also pinging on your fine traps. Yeah. Uh, but the ceiling Six. actually, the ceiling itself is not... Glow. I guess, yeah, it would be. Yeah, sure. Six, I'd come back. Come back. I can cast Wall of Force, and we can just walk very slowly. Do the, do the carpets, they, they look trapped as well? Uh, they are trapped. They are also glowing with your fine traps. They are trapped. Right. I will then attempt to re uh, trace <laughs> the my wall. step. The wall's also trapped, so be careful. <laughs> the spell merely yeah, reveals that's... that a trap is present. You don't learn the location of each trap. Well, it's like, well, fuck the whole I, room. <laughs> well, that's yeah, that's what I'm, that's why I'm like, I, I can't. There's no way for me to not give you the location because it's everything. <laughs> you, you do learn the general nature of the danger trapped, p oh. opposed by a trap you sense. So what's going on? Oh, okay. Yeah, what kind of danger um, is this shit? Well, Darn. I'm assuming the ooze is acidic. <laughs> Uh, you don't get the sense that you're going to be burned by this. Yeah, Six, I'll just let you do it again since you've done it once. Um, Thank you. So you, you can make your way back. Nothing seems to react to that. Uh, the general idea is... Um, you feel as though the entire room is... Well, obviously, is a trap. But as if the room itself... There's somehow... The rugs... Um, will react somehow probably to every element of this room is a trap so that I'm, I'm just I'm trying to figure out the nature of this um I will tell you here I'll tell you this um the whole room would get very slippery and very stabby so it gets very slippery and stabby it's like an average Friday night yeah it's like Clara when she's drunk <laughs> sorry go on <laughs> she looks very confused. I don't like that. You can interpret He's that multiple good. ways. You, I'm going to none choose. None of them are good. Yeah, none of them are good. Uh, All right, I Darren, don't have to do be do? drunk to be stabby Holden. Come here. It's true. I can wall of forces and we can just not touch anything. Okie dokie. Let's do it. And then we try to slip and slide underneath these uh, these poison holes. Well, I'm gonna. How, how high up on the wall are the poison holes? Um, they're about five feet up each, just halfway. So up. I, so I theoretically, if we were very small and crawled or kind of scrunched down, I probably could make the wall of force go <clears throat> over them. Yeah, if you were willing to crawl across it. If we all military crawled in a little wall of force box. Uh, actually, do you want to do something even more stupid? Sure. I, I don't know why you ask before you do these things. You, you always you always do them anyway. I could go through and activate everything and see if they only activate once. Oh, jeez. Not me, the double. Oh, okay. What okay, you got, Doran? I am going to have us all huddle together. Uh, how big of a sphere would I need to create for us all to fit inside and roll it like a hamster ball holding? Uh <laughs> Well, okay, if you guys were to clump together uh, via game mechanics, it would be a 10 by 10. Wouldn't that 
Wouldn't that uh Would it fit through the door? The floor though? The, the thing is, you can't go through a wall of force. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. So, like, if you just made it, like, uh, game mechanics 5x5 five five, that gives you a lot of room. If you guys were to scrunch together, I would say you could make it, like, a like a 7x6 a seven six or 7x7 seven seven ball so it would just fit through and be able to roll freely through the room. It will set off all the trap six, but it won't hurt us. <laughs> okay. As long as there's not a disintegrate spell within this room, I should be safe. We should all be safe. And it will show us exactly what every trap works does. Who would set a trap like that and then write "Welcome Home" at the end? I mean, exactly. Come on. All right, let's do it. <laughs> so you're casting. Uh, I see no better option, and if I did, this one's more fun. <laughs> so you're hamster balling a force around you guys. <laughs> yep, and we're hamster gonna hamster ball of force. <laughs> we're gonna start. Are we really did... stumbling over one another trying to <laughs> the sphere of force. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna start hamster balling forward. Hey man, as long as we don't as long as we don't die in this room, it's worth it. Okay, okay. So you begin you you hamster ball of force the entire party, you all kinda of squeezing together a little bit to make the ball small enough. Um, and the people in front, I'm just going to say, because based on the map, Doran and Six just kind of gently with their hands start pushing forward. You guys start rolling forward. Um, <laughs> as you begin rolling forward, um, once you get about here... I bet the rugs are all pitfalls. All four of the rugs snap and recoil and begin flatten, flattening themselves against the, the ball of force. And the other four join in. And the entire ball basically is covered by rugs that are trying to constrict it, but cannot do anything. Uh, so <laughs> they knew the rugs were fucky. So the rugs are like, man! Yeah, so these four rugs are now just smothering mo- You just have some, like, peak holes through the wall of force, because these four rugs are just encapsulating you as you roll forward. And as you get You to... guys knew that the rugs were bad? I was trying to pick out which rug to wipe my feet on. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm glad you yeah, didn't so do that. If... Yeah, if Six didn't see anything, and if he didn't cast that spell, Alistair would have just went forward and just wiped his feet. No, no. Doran's thought was simple. Uh, gargoyles came to life. <laughs> I, I have to assume everything else in this fucking shit show can kill me. Um, as you guys reach about here, the last hole, um, you hear another click, 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 and it sounds like something is gearing up and translucent oil, grease, if you will, starts to spill out rapidly from these holes, which... If you want it to go back, you can't now because now the, the the carpets are covered in it. Your wall, your your ball of force is covered in it. And you guys are slipping rapidly toward the end of the hall, where <laughs> um you see a wall begin to rise up from a hidden compartment, uh, Doran, where your 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 fine traps had pinged, and oh, and secret compartmentalized holes sprout out, revealing a wall, a cage of spikes. So you guys, through little peak holes beyond the rugs, roll forward and then ting, 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 ting against these spikes. Um, I guess some of them would take damage. Yeah. Um, let me see here. Because they're what do just... we do now? We keep bouncing back and forth until all the rugs get the fuck off the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do. Um, yeah. Two. Are they, so are they taking damage from the liquid? Uh, not that you can. They're certainly damp, but you, you're not okay. sure. You can't tell. Um, Damp, gooey rugs, yes, sir. But the, yeah, the, <laughs> it, two two of the rugs get completely plastered as you ting ting ting. They get stabbed over and over, and then just kind of start to that whatever force was making them, you know, surround the ball and 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 hug it tightly as if to try to envelop it. It collapses, and they just kind of fall limp as rugs kind of just caught and and torn apart on these spikes now. And you're all just mostly covered in rugs in this hamster ball. Up against a wall, a, a small <laughs> enclosure of spikes. Does it go all the way to the Lip. ceiling? Uh, the yes. Rugs. The ceiling, the walls the around you, and the wall before you. All just spikes. Uh, do they make any notice of going down? Who, who, who are they? Who? What? Uh, the spikes. Uh, going down? Oh, yeah. Re like, or, or, or oh no. They are just out. And you are up against them. Well, I have gotten us very far. <laughs> Should we roll backwards and forwards and try to break it down? Just, like, run as fast as we can? As Beth I, says this, you hear this creaking, this grinding of stone and metal as the entire room begins to slant toward the spikes. 
No. <laughs> I also think we're going to die if... Only if about, like, five degrees, but just enough that, like, going up in the grease would be very difficult. Um, What is I... the blue and red things there? Those are the rolled-up carpets. Remaining carpets. That are all now okay. just encapsulating your ball. Well, uh, I, I can make us go back. Last? Well, here's the thing. Let's just spin around and kill the rugs before we do anything else. Just kill every fucking rug. <laughs> I don't. They, they grabbed yeah, onto the ball. I'm, I'm assuming if well, no matter what our second step is to get out of this situation, I doubt we want to be covered by rugs. I'm I'm with you. I am. All right. Yeah. Sure. Uh, if you are very prone to being dizzy, close your eyes. Fast closes her eyes. No, that that's what you don't want to do if you're prone to being dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Would Six know how to stop dizziness? I mean, he used to be, well, still is drunk all the time, so I'm going to say yeah. Actually, right, I think yeah. Anyone, if anyone were an expert on dizziness here, it'd be Six out of the party. I'm, just, I'm, giving, I'm giving Jason's shit. <laughs> So Doran doesn't know. He's so just giving advice. You guys are gonna start trying to roll the ball against the spikes. To hit them. I, I, I just want to kill as many of all these rugs because, however, we're getting out of this situation. I don't want to be impeded by fucking rugs. You know what? Okay. I mean, here's a okay. Um. So you guys begin to roll against the spikes as best you can, and. The chamber is filled with the sound of shredding as you guys are just tearing these rugs apart as they're being, they're not letting go and they're being ripped up against these, uh, these spikes. And after it, just like, you know, a minute of rolling the ball around, they're, they're all fucked. They're all torn to shreds and just tatters um, everywhere. That'll do it. Perfect. <laughs> this tells me a few oh. things. One, that the uh, rugs are not intelligent. They were just... Given a goal, and that's what they succeed. They did. Well, some things when you create them and animate them, give them life, they uh, can act independent of you, and others need direct, constant direction. When I animate objects, I need to command them; otherwise, they just sit still. Should we try commanding these walls to go away? Um, I. No, I I, I don't think that would work. Honestly, I don't. No, if I could, even. I think those are too big for me. Uh, how does the wall look? Like, does it look like it's very sturdy material? Which wall? Uh, the one in front of us. Hey, Six, what does that mean? Uh, it was in the spell description. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it does talk about an unstable ceiling. Yeah, but it says it doesn't reveal something like that, right? It right. would not reveal a natural weakness. Like if that, if, My... the, wall, if the ceiling wasn't meant to be unstable, I, I I'd say like if you built it to be unstable, that's different. But yeah, no. Is the is the entire room still still slanted? Yeah, only like five degrees, just enough that okay. like if you weren't in your ball, uh, you would be slipping through the grease right now and heading towards the spikes. You're starting to get that. Okay. Is the idea of this trap? I bet you had fun building this, didn't you? <laughs> I, I did. You guys just completely and literally tore it apart. <laughs> well, I still have spikes. You're still yeah, up against have... the spikes in a ball of force. The room slanted slightly, grease just covering the floor. It seems to have stopped pouring out now, but there's like an inch thick uh, layer of it on the ground now, just pushing up no against the No wonder it says to wipe your feet. Well, that would. Yeah. Um... Can I look at the spikes and say, I'm home? Can sound travel through the wall of force? Did we? We decided no. No. Oh, true. That's right. That was a decision we made on the Dauntless. Uh, does anyone have anything in their inventories that would keep <laughs> us from getting skewered Wait. as soon as this wall of force goes away? We hey, have Holden. nine minutes. Hey, what? Okay. Okay. I'd like to cast Unseen Servant over the wall and have him knock on the door. Like, oh, over what wall? Pass past the wall there. Oh! Uh, do you have to be able to see the point? Because it, the wall, is it doesn't reach the ceiling, but it is obscuring your vision of the doors. Um. Well, I guess even if you could, you could still see the space above it, so it would just drop. Okay, yeah, you can do that one way or another. Okay, so you have an Unseen Servant on the other side. Yeah, I'd like to just have him knock on the door. 
Okay. Yeah, and you all don't see, don't hear Alistair's unseen servant plop down on the other side and just knock on the door. I don't like the idea of a servant plopping down after I cast. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but yes, my servant is a pile of goo. <laughs> but you see Alistair cast something. And you, there's a moment we're all waiting expectantly for something to happen. And you hear... Actually, no, you wouldn't hear anything. Um, but you would notice the layer of um, of grease begin to flood past you below. It, it, it seems that, that whole drain holes are... are, are flowing the grease down and the spikes begin to retract Alistair just looks around like and uh. and the wall begins to lower and um that's that's that actually. Oh, yeah buddy nice uh, how did you anticipate us getting nice. through this without this yeah I listen man I built a trap and didn't have a correct answer to how this goes um, except for I had a few things like, because here's the thing, other I'll, I'll just tell you because you've done it. If somebody were to walk through here, they would know how to get through it. Somebody obviously uses this passage. There are some things like, uh, actually, you guys hit on two of them. I think Isaac specifically hit on two of them, saying, I'm home or knocking on the door. In fact, I had a list of phrases you could say that would uh, untrigger this trap. There are several things you could do to subvert I mean, it. But oh, you so guys, that would have worked. We were just in the bubble. So there were several, quote unquote, like ha solutions <laughs> to certain problems, but there was no correct solution other than wiping your feet to not get trapped. Uh, so, yeah, that was. So you could have you could have wiped your feet and not gotten trapped. Maybe. Um. Anyway, the mm. the 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 unseen servant knocks on the door, and as he does so, one creaks open, and the with that the floor is still slippery. But drain holes that have now um, opened up in the floor are starting to grain, drain, drain the grease away, and one of the doors has we, creaked open. What if we plugged all the holes? Uh, drown in grease. I'm lucky that the six are the ones leaving the bubble. <laughs> and I ha head us towards the door. Rude. Still in the bubble. Yeah. Okay. You're you kinda, welcome. You slip through some of the grease a little bit that's still residually left on the floor, and and you dunk against the other door, which which pushes it open, and you you roll on through. That's oh, hey, right. The queen looks to the doors that just opened as a greasy hamster ball. I also said this: if, if we had, like, if this was a big thing that a lot of people watch, this would be one of the scenes that got animated. Of us just running and Beth oh, like yeah. circling if oh, you yeah. can't keep up. Absolutely. <laughs> Beth like looking like she's going to hurl as you're all slipping through this. Yeah. And okay. Alistair trying to get his cane as it's just like rotating out of his reach. <laughs> <laughs> He's like reaching for it. He's like, hey, hey, slow the fuck down. <laughs> right. So uh, coming back, uh, you guys had just busted through uh, opening both doors with uh, via, via various means. And uh, coming out the other side, um, it goes back to uh, like a familiar tunnel like structure um, and you can see this is not the first time grease this this translucent grease has been poured through all the way there's like residual stickiness on the ground you can feel as, as your, your ball actually you rolled forward That's in the grease gross. and then you came to an abrupt kind of like a skidding stop as like you it stuck to the floor from where grease was before sounds like someone didn't deck scrub yeah somebody uh. didn't Let's push really hard and keep going, because as long as we have this bubble, we are theoretically invincible. <laughs> We're always invincible. That's okay. not true. If if we hit, if we, if I stepped in lava, I would most likely die. If you might we, lose a foot. If we went into lava with this, we would be fine until the bubble ended, and then we would all die. So you're all just gonna try to push through the stick to continue. Yep. Make a group strength fuck check. You, fuck your uh, dungeon. Everybody make one? Yep. Group three. I got a check. two. <laughs> is is one of my worst skills. <laughs> Unlike Doran, I help. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, I don't. Oh no. Oh Sick. boy. Oh, you guys you guys all get to one side and just push and move as best you can and you make it about an inch but but as you go the the more you push forward the more 
sticky substance is being stuck to your ball, and so you make it about like an inch or two, and then you just come to a standstill. You're pushing and shoving, and you could keep trying, but if you kept this up for too long, you would all suffer exhaustion. Um, well, do I think that if I got out of the bubble, we'd get stuck ourselves, or is it just because of the material? It's hard to say. Can you open the top of the bubble? Nope. <laughs> Good. Why don't you open the bubble, and if it's too sticky, we can just stick our feet to the walls and walk. Um. Walking on walls, that's ridiculous. Um, I can't do that. Uh, I can get rid of the bubble. But. At some point we have to? Yes, but I'd like to have it wait, wait it out. Um, because I'm not very strong, and at least with all of us, we have a higher chance of me not getting stuck. You you could give it another go without suffering exhaustion just yet. I look at Bess and go, actually, you could probably get out of here pretty easily. You have a handy-dandy tool that has never come into actual use. I have? You have well, stilts. <laughs> that, and you have oh. the, um, you have your you whip. Can... So can I cast spells through the barrier? No. Oh, wait, you... can you? I thought you could because you just did. Uh... Oh, I mean, like, um, it doesn't... so that one has a 60-foot range, so I'm assuming that I was able to just cast it at that range. I'm talking about, like, directly underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want, like, a spell effect to directly p pass through? Like, if you, if Doran wanted to cast Firebolt, could that go through? Yeah. So I, I, I used one that summons something yeah, at the area. Yeah, at that yeah. point, so your magic wasn't passing through it per se. Yeah, so that would still be fine. That's kosher. But I, I, it's a wall of force. I don't think... Something like a firebolt could pass through it either way. Yeah, I think I think how I've me and Holden have ruled it is if you're summoning something on the other side of it and like within range, that works. But if you're casting something from yourself and you're the origination, it can't go through. Okay, can I just press the digitation all the grease off? Can press the digit? Yeah, um, actually, you can. Uh, once so I I'm just gonna do that. Once I see him do that, I help him. Yeah, so between so Bess and Six continue to push as you guys kind of just press to digitate the, the rest of the grease at, uh, at the bottom. Yeah, just start, and so you make slow progress, but eventually you move past the point where the floor is super nice. sticky and you guys are able to roll on through the rest of this tunnel. Uh, how long does nice. your ball last? Ten, ten minutes. Ten, oh. as, as we're moving, I go, the other time I would have used this is when we were falling. If we had ever fallen out of the ship, I would have created this and had six fill it with water and hoped that not killed us when we landed. I dive. I like it. <laughs> huh. Okay. We got ten minutes of this. Alright. Um, Alright. We'll see how long it takes to get to the next place. Um. Oh, from that, actually. Okay. Um. It is only about a... Where is it? Yeah, because this is right next. Um, you guys continue in your ball going through this tunnel. There are a couple of parts where the tunnel, uh, it, 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 you know, this seems somewhat natural. It, it, it widens and then narrows back. And there are a couple places where you got to squeeze through a little bit, but you're able to. Um, eventually, this is, what, what do we say? This is about a seven foot? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's more than seven feet. Okay. Um, you guys continue um, until for another five minutes, just another five minutes. Where up ahead, once again, you see a strange glow. But it's not flickering like a flame like you've seen before. Boon! It is more like a solid yellow glow. Uh, no, a solid blue glow. Mixed with some yellow glows, actually. Um, you can't tell what it is coming from, but you can tell that there is some blue and some yellow light source up ahead of you. Um, and... Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, and so you have about, like, four, three or four minutes left in the, in the ball, so you're able to just roll on through. I assume you guys just do so. Yeah, because, uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I have as much control of it as everyone. Actually, no, I think Six has the most control, just because he's faster than us. Hmm. Okay, so you guys roll on through, um, and here's what you find. Uh, let me actually put your tokens on here. I never managed to do that. And... You're in the ocean. Uh, that would be bad. Doran doesn't like water. And Actually, new campaign never... starts now. Um, that's how you start the pirate campaign. <laughs> um, okay, you guys roll into a, a 
a but not entirely a cave it is more like a widening of multiple tunnels with um structures like structural beams of rock that kind of keep this together a blue fungus blue mushrooms glowing uh, around you uh, illuminate the area as well as up ahead of you you can see just barely to your right you can see what appears to be some sort of table like a man-made table with a flickering light of some sort of candle and ahead of you a large ornate carpet with a strange diagram upon it a table four fine blue chairs a statue with yellow orbs glowing above it another um sort of uh, torch lamp and a, a an uncomfortably lifelike onyx dragon head kind of wedged into the wall with glowing purple eyes. She beat the eyes. ender dragon! Uh, I'll bring you guys to this map now and you can decide what you want to do. You do have a few minutes left of your ball. Whoa. Let's go smash the table. Kidding. Um. <clears throat> our options are to go really fast and just try to get to the next room and say fuck everything that God put in here. Or, or explore. And I've been on, I've edged on the side of not exploring lately. Um, and I feel as though that's been harmful to me and Six's friendship. <laughs> what do you wish to do? Uh, I, um, I mean, I wouldn't mind taking a glance at. at, at... A closer look at what's going on here before we before we plow through. All right. How, how does everyone else feel? Uh, I don't know how much of a close look you're gonna get because I don't feel like uh, ending the spell early as I have previously stated. I'm along oh, for right. the ride. So uh, um, I would very much like to roll by this chest or check or whatever this table is. Connect for game table. Mm. Game okay. table. You guys are able to kind of get over here. Uh, it's a little too narrow to actually get back there with your ball. Uh, but you can see mm -hmm. there appears to be some sort of like lamp wedged into or carved into the stone with a torch, a candlelight flickering over what appears to be a table with a with a game of um, checkers happening is upon it, it. It's happening? No, it's not like nothing is currently moving, but it appears to be a game of checkers uh, that's like in the middle of being played. Uh, left. Um, uh, uh, Alistair. Yes. Your, is that servant of yours, uh, is it like an easy spell or does it cost actual magical energy? It's an easy spell. I want you to move the checker pieces around. <laughs> okay. But no, no other reason to just be an asshole. <laughs> I'm going to move the checker pieces around. Just any which way, doesn't matter. Just moving various pieces. Are they lined up Check like that on the board? Uh, yes. Try, so, uh... so there is a game in session. Try making the next move. That's what I was going to do. Can I assume... Okay, I'm going to move this black piece right here. All the way to the end. Right here. Okay. You you do so. Yep. Uh, uh, so Checkers, what... mate. <laughs> I, I, go, I want that red piece. Oh, I'm on measure tool, not pinging tool. That red piece to jump over your black piece. Sure. You do so. I don't what, think we should spend we, any more time playing checkers. What are we doing? Playing checkers. Uh, did you see what you needed to see? I guess so. Are the cups... So that's a teapot, I'm assuming, right? Uh, yes. Is the tea warm? Yes. How do you know? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. Fuck. Shit. Oh, okay. Is there okay. steam? Is there well, yeah, steam we'll say, rising from the steam rising from it. You can visually see Sorry, it. Sorry, that warm. was... I should have... That's all right. That I was my bad. Well. Um, you forgot where is that ice in the cups? Cold tea with steam. That's how you make iced tea. You you brew proper hot tea and then put it in on ice. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Uh, I, I wonder if bad. they heard us get through and left in a hurry. That's what the I was just about to say. Does it look like someone left in a hurry? Um, they didn't finish their checkers game. The checkers game is doesn't left finish unfinished. a checkers game. Um, but the cups are empty uh, apart from a couple some some ice in them. <laughs> Steamy ice. Steamy ice. <laughs> Which one is it, Holden? <laughs> it would be Doran. You know, any moment now, your your spell is going to end. 
Oh. <laughs> Poof. What do it we want to do? Let's just keep going. Okay. All right, let's keep going. Help them meet up with them and let them know that Red won. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, you, as you guys move to continue, as it took you a couple of moments, um, poof, the spell ends as you as you get about here, um, and you can see now that the um, the dragon. You, or actually, no, you can't. It's obscured behind a wall, sort of. But you hear coming from the direction where you saw the dragon's head before me now, as if he was finishing a sentence you couldn't hear through the ball. If you were talking, <laughs> I couldn't hear you. We missed the pre-recorded message. <laughs> Press one to play again. I, I say that I shout that in that direction. Um, I have I have thirty feet. I will minor illusion. Um, I can't get it that much closer, but minor illusion as loud as I can. Didn't hear it. Try again. <laughs> Oof. Two new visitors. I raise my brow. Who is this before me now? Yo, mama. <laughs> I can't believe we tried it again. Uh, depends on who's asking. No, just just ask him to repeat it again, and then we can sneak by. <laughs> I finished my sentence. Go. That would have been really fucking smart. <laughs> uh, uh, did you repeat it again? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not. I give this no further thought. Does everything uh, you say have to rhyme? Tricky girl cursed me thrice. Speaking only in rhymes isn't so nice. <laughs> Are you a this god? tricky girl. I'm gonna go. Uh, I want to go. I want to. I'm gonna look at queen. them and I go. I'm gonna go meet him because he sounds uh, like a treat. I would pass because it could be a trap. I'll go with you. I guess fuck me then. You have already said that you felt like you've gypped six out of so much. <laughs> I let him look at the checkers but table. If we you are wrong, the one who made the moves on the checkers table, Dorn. <laughs> he made the choice not to go to the dragon. I turn around and walk. <laughs> okay. I have to protect Alistair. I say walking towards. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair nods and he goes, "I do need protecting." I look at Bess and just go, "I hate everyone." I shake my head. Nope, nope, we're not going. Are you two all hanging back then? Yeah. Six, um, Bess wants you back here. Alistair, be right Doran wants you right back there. here. I'm not tied to him like you were tied to Six. I mean, if we all left you here, what would you do? Get he out. He can do what he wants. As you guys are kind of yelling back and forth, so you're, and you're around this corner, you can see this very lifelike to, yeah. onyx dragon head with glowing purple eyes. It seems to literally just be, like, wedged into the stone on the ground, and his jaw just sticking up. It kind of turns towards you and looks to the two of you now that it can see you. New faces I see in my cave. To be here, you must be quite brave. If we you... speak in rhyme, will you give us more time? I shout. <laughs> that that's, he just rhyme. laughs. That, that's not a rhyme. Uh, this sneaky girl that you speak about, is it possible she was a queen? He looks at you <laughs> and seems to suddenly not understand what you're saying. That's strange. Are you, are you, I can understand. I, I yell from my position. Are you a god? He doesn't respond. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> Do you have a name? Okay. Um, New rhyming he doesn't, friend? He, he doesn't respond. Uh, six, you might have activated it, you dumbass. Oh. Um, why Why can maybe. I not find a picture of the queen? How about this? I have a funny feeling in my spleen. The girl you speak about, was it the queen? He looks to you, suddenly understanding. I knew that this was going to be the fucking... Oh, hold and, it! And he, he looks to you and says... Whoops. It, it like, um, the, it, his eyes narrow in anger. He looks to you. Tell me now before I blow. Is the woman your friend or foe? Um, friend? I, I'm, I'm reloading. Here, here, oh, one second. Sorry, I accidentally refreshed my, my screen. And everything the, went to hell. The, what uh, answer doesn't get us killed? <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, 
<clears throat> There's an awkward <laughs> silence as Six tries to think of a response. <laughs> I go, if she's my... You, oh. What? what? Uh, oh, by the way? He's <laughs> frozen again. If she's my... <laughs> Look at that one. He's neck. <laughs> Before Blake got disconnected, we were at basically the um, the dragon had just said, um, I just asked if that Trixie woman was your friend or foe, and um, it, I think Doran was responding first. Uh, I said I would have said, if she's our foe, is it our time to go, or if she's our friend, is it our time to meet our end? Hmm. Words were never my fairest traits, but I will try for that woman I hate. I point at six. <laughs> Our friend, she's not, I am afraid. I wish I had some lemonade. <laughs> the dragon grimaces. <laughs> uh, six continues. We'd love to find the traitorous witch and put an end to that wicked bitch. Mm. She toys with me in conversation. Lonely she is, I bring her elation. A mighty force I once was, until she made my head grow numb with a buzz. I miss my wings and ferocity of a dragon. Thanks to her now I suck like a flagon. <laughs> How can we help our new friend to put this state to an end he attempts to nod but he kind of just like very gently whacks his chin up against the stone a few times <laughs> thunk, 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 thunk. <sighs> truthfully I wish for you to end my life Aww. I'm sick of this misery and this strife I look at six. I was about to ask. I actually would walk up now, knowing he's not our enemy. Mm. Uh, so I'd be over here. I'd look towards six and go, honestly, if my next rhyme was going to be about if you wanted us to kill him. I mean, if it, he is, he's a, could potentially be a powerful ally if we were able to fix this. Hmm. Did, I look at him. Did you dwell beneath the castle before you became to be this hassle? He grimaces. He, he he narrows his eyes again for a moment, but then they kind of relax, like understanding. <laughs> I do not know which castle you speak of, but much of my time, most of my life, was spent above. I'd like to try to mentally connect with it and see if he has to rhyme in thought. You attempt to mentally connect, and it is as if something is blocking it. Oh. You assume whatever powerful curse has been placed upon him uh, forbids such connections. Does anybody have greater restoration? Yeah. I feel like oh, it's a waste of magic right now, but... Um... I know there's some spell that can... There's a spell called Remove Curse, but I have yeah. to assume that the curse on the, our friend of the dragon is much stronger. Very powerful. The curse uh, you could possibly remove, but deadly for me, that would prove. I guess you are just a talking head. That would kind of make you dead. Well, that's kind of what you're asking for, actually, now that I think about it. Is there How? no way to remove this curse without making your life worse? Hmm. If there were a way, I wish I knew. But for now, I remain here, sad and blue. <laughs> well, then, would I green, know... Would, die. would I know of any way to remove the curse without killing him? Well, as Doran mentioned, there is a, a spell specifically for remove curse, removing curses. Um, he seemed to imply that ending his life would end the curse. Um, you, you, maybe something uh, like Greater Restoration would help. You're not sure. Is there any way to return you to your magnificent splendor, splendor, or should we just find the queen and end her? Hmm. Killing the bitch might end my strife. 
<laughs> I would like for you to end her life. If, I can remove the curse. If killing her, I Doran starts. Jeez, what with, are you doing? Uh, Is this camera stuck for you guys too? He, I don't think it was. It was. <laughs> um. Is there anything that you are aware of that would help us this situation take care of? <laughs> he he like scoots his head to face the 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 table uh, beside him. She sits in a chair and closes her eyes. Every movement she's here or every moment she's here I do despise. After a moment <laughs> she disappears. Despite my distractions of insults and jeers. Is she here? Is she near? <laughs> I just orange just shrugs. I'm not good with the wordplay. Uh where she's off to when she disappears, I don't know. I haven't a clue where when she sits she go. Does it take long for her to come back? My name is Doran. It's not Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I look again at Alistair and just fucking shrug. <laughs> In this cave, she comes and go. The, ma the name is Alakai. You, it is nice to know. When she does this, she sits in this chair... No, Holmes, forget it. Yo, Holmes, to Bel Air. Wait, no, how does that sound? <laughs> um, I, uh, I, are we counting that? <laughs> are we uh, yes, we are. <laughs> okay, he looks rather confused, but if he had shoulders, would shrug it off. Uh, I'm sorry, what was your question again? Uh, was it, is it this chair mm. that she sits in? Mm. He, I, I say, like, holding the chair. Any of the chairs seems to do... She brings friends sometimes. All of them blue. Blue, blue. Is, blue isn't sad? Or blue isn't mad? I just... <laughs> blue is the color of the chairs. Of this, I am sure you are aware. I kind of... I, I look at him and go, I don't think that counts. I, 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 oh no, he says, it explodes. <laughs> if, oh if shit, you, I forgot to rhyme. If, if you truly wish to die, is there anyone out there you wish to say goodbye? Hmm. Sits, six sits in this chair. Okay. You sit. It's cozy. It's nice and padded. Um, I, you, I, and you, you start to kind of, you, you notice the, the pattern below the, um, the star pattern, the, um, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what do you call that? The sigil. Oh, I don't know. I can't think of the word. Anyway, in the, the, the pattern below you is, you, you recognize, um, arcane ruins inscribed into it and etched all along it. You recognize it must have something to do with this, this rug as well. Um, the, the dragon returns to Dorne's question. A friend I once had in the city of priests. Though I have not seen him in a long time, our chatter decrease. I'm assuming he's a dragon. That also rhymes with flagon. <laughs> <laughs> a dragon he was, most powerful indeed. I wish him mm. the best, I hope he succeed. We know that dragon's name, right? Alistair? Uh, Alistair would probably know his something? name, right? Being from Breeze? Uh You guys asked about... You, uh, you learned about this dragon from Sam, who did not really remember the name. He just remembered it had like a title oh, like okay. The Blind or The All Seat. Something to do with sight. The dragon of which you speak, he is known as The All Seeing. Isn't that a bit bleak? His eyes widen. My friend, you know. What a surprise. He is called all-seeing, but cannot see through his eyes. He rules over priests, this I know. 
Do you wish to say goodbye to him before you go? Indeed I do. It has been long. But out of this cave... Shit. <laughs> I wear a thong. <laughs> um, I would I like cannot to... be gong. Uh, I shrug. I, he I seems don't... a little disappointed with himself. <laughs> You're not very good at this either. Um... La 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 la, beaver. <laughs> a fancy trick I wish I knew. Mortal speech. It's sticky like glue. Can I rhyme in draconic? Sure. If you want to say something in rhyme, I, I would allow you to just say you said that in draconic. Okay. I'd like to try writing something down not in rhyme and showing it to him and seeing if he understands. He looks at it. If text it is you wish for me to see, unfortunately, the curse does not let me. Holy fuck! Someone actually cursed this dragon to the point where they can't function without rhyme. That is terrible! Are you sure you don't want me to give removing this curse a try? I promise it will be dry. He'd die. <laughs> oh. Oh, why? He's just a head. <laughs> Killing the queen might give us an edge and... Help us not to dredge. No <laughs> Hold on, look who I have. You have a good baby. Um, he, re he responds, In case you haven't noticed, I am but a head. Removing the curse would certainly find me dead. Do you think Where is your body? Me? You surely were a hottie. <laughs> Magnificent I truly once was. Where my body is now, I do not know because. And he kind of just like, he tries to make a motion as if he's gesturing to himself, but he kind of just wiggles his head. If, if dying is the way to go, removing the curse might be peaceful. I fucking lost, actually. Never mind, ignore me. <laughs> Yeah, Doran says that, and then like, wait, shit, that doesn't rhyme. And the dragon looks over and looks a little disappointed that he couldn't understand. Uh, <laughs> or Alakai. Is that A-L-A-K-A-I? A-L-A-C-H-A-I. C-H-A-I. Uh, one more time. A-L-A-C-H-A-I. A-L-A-C-H-A-I. You've introduced yourself and given your name, so I shall as well. My name's Alistair Kane. Half right, close bow, enough. I bow to him. Um, he kind of lowers his head slightly into the ground and please, raises it Please, please, you're up. the dragon. Oh, yeah, you can't understand that, but... I take a sip from Six's flagon. <laughs> I'll talk No, that wouldn't work mix. because I did it. I didn't say it. I don't <laughs> have a name, but they call me Six. That doesn't rhyme. I've got a it did. Large I pick. said, I'll go ahead and throw mine into the mix. Oh, I didn't hear the first part. I don't have a name, but they call me Six. So you do have a name. <sighs> I'm always a mess. My name is Bess. <laughs> <laughs> These pleasantries are a nice refresh. I must admit, the Queen and I don't mesh. At least let us kill her before your demise, so you might know satisfaction in some disguise. <laughs> he closes his eyes. If you aim to kill her, and you can, knowing that in death I can withstand, Sounds like... The... Though powerful she is, I must admit, if you wish to leave now, I could not fault you to quit. Onward will go. Fuck the, fuck the stab queen. The hoe. Sh <laughs> fuck the queen. This shit is whack. Trust us. We have bodies that stack. <laughs> <laughs> To the queen we go, 
and to kill her we may. The tunnel ahead, are there any traps that lay? <laughs> if you know off the top of your head. Your information here is better than if you were dead. Top of his head, you say. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. On my way in, I do remember. Fuck. Um, shit. <laughs> On my way <laughs> in, I do recall. The way behind me, you will not fall. The way you came in, I'm sure, was quite tough. It's not exactly cozy and filled with fluff. So the tr the tunnel ahead is safe to say. And to come back and save you, we will one day. Hmm. Save me if you can, I suppose. But from this cave, I never expected to rose. <laughs> I, I, I lean close to Alistair. Is there any way you can give him the illusion in his own head that he is a full body and then we can remove the curse? At least give him a moment of happiness. I believe his moment of happiness will come with the Queen's death. Well, but um... If there's I... a way to let him feel as though he's back in his own body, give him the experience once more. I don't think so. I don't have those spells anymore. Um. Yeah, I don't have any of my illusion spells anymore. Uh. But I do have something that I just thought of that I want to start working on. Can I, I look at the the I look at Alakai. Can you feel, or is everything just steel? From the neck up, I can feel. But to be frank, it doesn't feel real. I would use minor illusion and precipitation and make sure of them to kind of give him the feeling of wind flashing past his face. He closes his eyes and seems to soak it in for the few like moments. Like a dog he when it. he puts his head out the window. Yeah. Ah, this I have not felt for quite some time. I must admit it is quite sublime. I want to give you the experience of flying in the last moments before you are dying. Hmm. Different from other mortals you all truly are. I wish for you to come back from your journey without a scar. I, um, I don't want to kill him because what if we can fix him? I, I hold my finger up. I will ask my god, and I touch my rock, the rock, if there's anything that we can do. That way, at least we can do our everything we can to help you. Yeah, what are these bones over here? Oh, that is a statue. Sorry, it hadn't really been asked about. Um, it is. It seems to be some sort of uh, gothic angelic statue uh, standing about ten feet tall with glowing yellow orbs, kind of just floating about it. Oh, about this guy here. What can you tell us? When we walked in, were you able to smell us? <laughs> no. I really like this dungeon. I hate this. Because <laughs> I am so bad at coming up with the rhymes on the spot. The statue before me seems to be some sort of focus. It helps with the queen's magic, her hocus pocus. Oh, Bess, you've scried on the queen before, right? Oh, hell yeah. Is, does this look like the area that sh you normally scry on her in? No. Right, oh. Holden, it does not? It has the kind of same, of war the ki same kind of, excuse me, warm feeling and tone to it. This it's almost looks like... are right? Yeah, but it's not the same. Yeah. It almost looks Close as though this eyes. was taken out of the area that you scryed on her in 
and just plopped into this cave. I would Six relay that. He closes his eyes and thinks really hard about uh, um, uh, what's his name's office? Uh, Light's office. Okay. You all watch as Six kind of just leans more and closes his eyes. The moment passes. I swear to God, I think hard. Gotta... Six, what are you doing? And another. Six, you start to get a strange tingly feeling. No fucking way. I, I hold way. up a finger. Six, if you teleport away from us, I don't know how the fuck we're saving you. The sigil on the rug begins to glow, and you get to slowly oh, envelop Six. Fucking more. I stop thinking about the office. You open your eyes and shoot up, and pff, it's gone. And he's just I sat there. I think we can use this. I looked back to Alakai. Were people brought here in a cage? Their capture fills us with a lot of rage. Hmm. Recently, two have been added to her collection. Though, unfortunately, I was not able to make an inspection. A cage I do not recall. Though I do remember, like you, they were small. In which yes. direction did she go? Tell us. We must know. She placed them in like a, a whole chair egg. each. What? It looked like a whole hard-boiled egg he just threw in his mouth or started throwing oh, his mouth. Oh. I was, I was surprised. I'm a lot of mandarins. I had like a bag full and I've eaten them all. Yeah. Okay. He continues. He, she threw them into chairs, one each. Where they went after, my knowledge does not reach. Best. A man Best. and a woman, these two people were. Any features that you could no, discern doesn't. A man and a woman, did those two people happen to be? Any facial features you could see? A man and a woman, I can say for sure. Beyond that, my mind cannot lure. I, Bess, I Bess. Bess. Yes. Six, What's can up? I go? Please. When we scried on um, R Ravina and uh, Mr. Mister Alistair. <laughs> Mr. Kane. Did you only see them in the cage, or did you see the surrounding area? Hold in. Um, you mostly just saw the cage due to the limited field of view of the spell, but you did notice like a hard, a soft hardwood floor, so, like soft in color, warm in color, hardwood floor around them, and um, stone walls, like gray stone how, walls. How well do you remember that? Pretty well, right, Holden? Yeah, it was fairly right, recent. I, all right, look at the chair. Yeah, we, could we just teleport there? <laughs> It's worth a try. Well, here's the problem. If you only saw inside the cage, all you're going to picture is inside the cage. Well, hold on. Could I, did I see outside of the cage? Or like, see where they, like, what was around the cage? Yeah, it looked like the cage was three stone walls. And at the front, it was more like a prison cell, but with a hardwood floor. Uh, three stone walls and a stone ceiling. And then, um like bars like metal bars and you could see just outside the metal bars if you focused hard enough though the center your scry was centered in the cage if you focused hard enough maybe you could land yourself outside of it yeah i would well, i would let them know but most likely we're gonna end up in the cage uh there's a chance what i'd hate to do is get ourselves in a cage and be captured well, well how hard i personally can get, get out, out of a cage, cage what but... kind of a cage was it holden it was literally just like um, um, stone walls and ceiling, and then like like prison cell bars on one side. Um, like metal. Yes, but, but there were small slits in between the bars. Yes, we could get out of it if magic wasn't completely stopped in that area. I mean, True. the fact that I could scry in there makes me think that magic is. Yeah, uh, that, that, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't. What I'd hate is for us to. Um, I, I look at the dra dragon. What I'd hate is for us to become bait. Mm. <sighs> lot of respect. To... Okay. For me, asking this is a must. 
how do we know within you we can trust? A silly question, to be sure. Do you think I came here of my own? I was not lured? I hate that woman with all my heart. If your leaving could kill her, that I would love to start. Can we do an insight check? You can make an insight check. I would like, I'd like to, to just look down this hallway. I will allow I like... Doran and Bess, since you were talking to him. L looking down, Alistair, it appears uh, the fungus slowly, the blue glowing fungus slowly dissipates here. Um, but it appears to just be a, a cavern, a, a tunnel system like the way you came in. Um, it's hard to say because you're not used to reading dragons. Um, as best you can tell, he's being sincere, and you have no reason to believe otherwise, but you really, it, you, you can't read him like you could read a person. Okay. I would like, like a book? I'd like to sit at the table. Sure. And rather than focusing on a location, I'm going to focus on Alistair. Okay. And Alistair, work in your lab. Whoa. Um, see, if, see if like it has the same general effect if I can feel myself fading as I really focus on Alistair picturing him in my mind. Okay. Um Six, are you gonna stay sat at the table? Um uh, did anyone happen yes, I am going to. Okay. Uh you guys watch as Doran goes and sits down and he closes his eyes and concentrates. You're concentrating on Alistair. Again, you start to feel a tingly sensation all across your body, and it buzzes across your head, and then the sigil be below you begins to glow and begins to envelop the entire table, you and six included. Make an arcana check for me. Oh, or for me. this, I would allow religion, but I still think arcana is better for you. Yes, it is. I clicked it. I believe you. Uh, if it doesn't go through, I can always roll it for you. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, dirty, uh, dirty 20. Okay, the dirty 20, you think, you concentrate, and the glow begins to surround both of you. And with a poof, both of you land right beside Alistair. All right, so now I know we can do it with people. Mm. But we're going to be right next to them. So, theoretically, if we all sat at the table, we could just teleport on top of the queen. <laughs> What if we were invisible? Like when we she's did it? not expecting it. I bet that she's watching us through those orbs by the suit of armor right now. Um. Probably. <laughs> but now we know how this works. It doesn't have to be a location. I look at the dragon. If I take you off the wall, will your life force begin to fall? <sighs> Unfortunately, I do not know. From here, I've never had the chance to go. What's just sort of looking down... Oh, I'm not drawing anything. Looking down this way... Oops. Fuck. Uh, what do I see down there? Um, as Alistair checked before, it, it seems to be just a tunnel, uh, same as okay. similar to what you came in from. Okay. Okay. Uh, I look again to the dragon, and I say, um, who plays checkers on that board? I guess I assume when they're bored. I'll allow it. Um... <laughs> Queen and friends, most usually. Though, from here, it is hard for me to see. When all this is done and we've made our last run, to priest, I could take you to see your friend if you're willing to wait until the end. If you can take me from here and bring me there... In such a way that my life could be spared. I would appreciate such a kind gesture. Though to my friend I may now look like a jester. That table... Alistair. Go ahead. That table brings you to wherever or whatever of which you think. I don't know, but... 
it could be worth trying it for a br blink. It may worth. It may be worth trying it. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes um, widen for a moment. If you will allow me one last act, place me on the chair. I may not be back. I say we let him. If your oh, body's sir. still alive, maybe bringing your head back to it will make you thrive. He blinks what if a few we, times. What if we think about his body? <laughs> That's what I just said. Oh, good. Good thought. <laughs> <laughs> that is epic. <laughs> oh, good thought. To see my friend was my original plan, but to give that a shot, I must lend my hand. We can yeah. Alistair, can you send a message to the dragon friend and let him know that his friend is here? Don't dragons I... have magic? And... Yes, Don't but believe I can. I okay. don't know if you can, but that's a lot of magical energy. It's just sending. We can't go with you now. I'm sorry, but it might. We might ha, fuck, I can't think of anything that rhymes. I'm so bad on the spot. Bow. Um, Frow. Bow. Yeah. You to on this journey. You must go alone. If he. <sighs> You might die, and your life might be thrown. This I considered already for sure. I wish to see my body at least once more. I will go and see how he's on the wall. Okay. He's... If he teleports there and he gets to his body and it's not attached and he needs some mending spell, then he's fucked. Yes, but honestly, I don't think we can. Mending won't work on humans. Or dragons, or anything that's alive, actually. Okay, but greater restoration will. If the curse might be greater, and it's not worth... Honestly, saving this dragon right now is not worth it. Imagine having a dragon on your side, Doran. Or two. If and an obsidian one time. at that. Well, here's the thing. Where the fuck is his body? I don't know. <laughs> if his body is on the other side of the world, or not even there, we just fucking die. Am I familiar oh. with this dragon enough yeah, to I'm cast sending to him? With the dragon, sure, yeah. We've been speaking oh, actually, I couldn't tap into its mind with my cantrip, so I probably won't be able to ascending. You couldn't tap to, into his mind to speak um, without rhyme. Oh, true. You said it just wouldn't... You said there was a barrier. Oh, what spell were you trying to cast before? Oh, no, I was just using my mind link. Right. You just said it wouldn't connect. That's correct. That's correct. You're correct. Okay. I, I'd like to see how he's affixed to the wall. Yeah, uh, look, it seriously looks like there's just kind of a, a little bit of an alcove in the in the cavern, and he's wedged into it. I, I go to pick him up. He's quite heavy. Uh, six? To speak in your mind, I've tried once, but without rhyming, I look like a dunce. Does that get through to him? You don't feel a connection. Mentally? Okay. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, there wasn't, like... If you're not rhyming, he can't fucking yeah, hear you. No, through, you're so. right. You're yes. Uh, uh, Six, can you help me lift the dragon? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Between the two of you, it's gonna be like, whoa, Jesus Christ, dragon head! But you're able to lift Would him. Would you like me to try? Uh, yeah, I'd like to lift him and put him on the chair. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not a far distance. That much you guys can do when you set him <laughs> down on it. <sighs> Um, if you are to die, I will tell your friend, the all-seeing eye, that you said goodbye. <laughs> he gnaws his head as best he can. I will step out of the, the entire area and just kind of nod to him and hope that this works. It was nice knowing you, Alakai. I wish I didn't have to say goodbye. Hmm. One thing I think you should know just before it, my time to go. My greatest friends in this hell cave. I wish you the best. Please be brave. Aww. And with that, he closes his eyes, and you watch as the, after a moment, the sigil begins to glow again and wrap around his head. And with that... When you go and if you survive, I hope to one day see you alive. 
He smiles at that thought as he disappears. I think we just killed him. I also Possible. think that. Alright. But he wanted to die anyway, and it, this way didn't cause us any magical energy. And at least we can think we did a good thought. We did a good thought? We probably should have asked him to spare direwood in his anger. Um... What you have done now has put you all in great danger. <laughs> well. All right. Well. Forward into the cave or. Do, do we use the table? So long as it's stable. I'm done I'm with sorry. you. I'm, I'm glad we got rid of the done. fucker. We need to be done. <laughs> I'm glad we got rid of the fucker. <laughs> I love the mix of, of reactions. I was just like, dude, this is fucking great. I love this. And Blake is like, fuck this. <laughs> so, what are you guys going to do? There's a, there's kind of a moment of a solemn a solemn pause after he's gone, not knowing what happened to him, but you're all left in the room without him. My thoughts are, A, we can just take the fight to her, but I'm also a little bit low on my mag magical energy. Um... B, we just go through the cave and hope that we find her. Uh, C, we give Let's up and see. go home. We give up um, and go home. I'd, I'd rather... Let's not do that one. Okay. Well, D uh, would be scrying on her first, if possible, and seeing if we can see anything. A scry would be a good idea, if if we can if we can do something like that. I'm, I'm not too enthused with sticking around these tunnels because they're clearly trapped and we clearly don't care to stop for the treasure. Uh, so <laughs> if we, we just teleport it somewhere. Well, um, if it yeah. works on people, we can think of Ravina, get there, and hope that the cage isn't horribly trapped. There. Well, why don't I try to scry on the cage or and see what's around the cage to... Or... Yeah, or Ravina herself. Can you scry on Ravina and see if she's still in a cage? Yeah, I'll let you guys decide who and what I'm scrying. All right, what? How, do we know how long we've been down here holding approximately? <sighs> if you had Six to days. guess, um, maybe a couple hours or so, to, between two or three mm -hmm. is your best okay. guess. But if we're going to be using scry... I would like my brain just went. You have to rhyme, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, if we're gonna be using scry, I would like to. It's gonna be a decent chunk of magical energy from you, best, isn't it? Um, with my orb, doesn't that negate the? Yeah, you can just cost use the orb. The spell. Yep. Yeah, I'd relay that. Then fuck it. Let's just uh, Ravina. We know her the best. Sure. Oh, do. I'm okay. gonna. Oh, I won't sit at the table. Uh, that'd be a bad idea. Um, I will attempt to scry on Ravina. Okay. Um. Well, I'll just tell you this much. Um. She is unconscious, so she's gonna fail the saving throw. Um, and that much you'll learn when you scry on her. Um. You see her still unconscious alongside Alistair's father unconscious in this cage um you know it is it is yeah again the same it is much the same um there is a warm wood uh on on the ground a cage uh or, or rather you know thick walls around them and, and and bars sealing them in but this time can you you can hear through a scry yeah yes. yeah um this time there is a soft kind of fiddling like somebody is playing a violin kind of drifting through the air weird um can i look around and get a better feeling for what's around the cage or see if there's anybody out there playing the fiddle Unf hmm. your scry is focused on the cage um you you can't really move your scry can you I don't think so. Let me look. Mm. While she's doing this, I would like, because it takes 10 minutes for her to cast this, right? Yeah. Yep. 
I, I would cast commune at the same time. Okay, we'll get to that once I'm done with this. Um, yeah, no. I would say, does the scry give you like an actual range that you can see around? It should. Like, can you see within 30 feet of who you're scrying? Oh, or? instead of targeting a creature, you can choose a location you have seen before as the target of the spell. Oh. When you do, the sensor appears at that location and doesn't move. So if you were to scry on top of the cage, you could see more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll say you could have done that. Um, doing that, you'd have a slightly better view of the room around you. Um, they would notice a couple things you hadn't noticed before. Um, to... Uh, about like 30 feet away from this cage, there is a, a large statue of like an eagle or some sort of large bird um, with familiar floating yellow orbs circling around it. Um, but to the other side, so if you were looking, say, left to see the eagle, if you look to your right, you would see um, a, a couple things. Uh, firstly, a a spot on the floor in a little alcove nearby where dust has settled around where a familiar dragon head shaped something must have lied not too long ago. And very near that, a familiar gothic angel statue with floating orbs and a round table with four blue chairs and a rug below it. I would relay all of that to the group. Do I still hear the fiddling? Yes. Can I tell where it's coming from? You do not see anyone playing the fiddle. Um, you can just kind of hear it echoing throughout this cozy home. Mm. It's kind of a somber tune a little bit. But it's very nice. Interesting. I would relay that to the group. Okay. Right. And while she was doing that, so while she was doing that, uh, Dorn was going to cast commune. So did, did you want to go to Secret Secrets or? Uh, n no, my first question is, did the dragon Alakai survive? <laughs> Essentially skipping past the theatrics. No. Okay. Our friends who are unconscious, are they under a spell? Yes. Is the queen in this dungeon? Uh, and that's exactly how you're wording it? Uh, I'd say, is the queen in this dungeon ahead? No. Okay. I so, would uh, relay it, but a little bit more sad about the first one. Yeah. Uh, uh, he did not make it. Um, so we have a mission to tell the blind dragon. Uh, that to our fucking to-do list. Uh, our friends are under a magical spell, so we'd have to actually break that anyway. And uh, the queen is not ahead in the dungeon. Okay. So after you learned this, eventually Bess would come out of her scry to relay to you guys what she had seen. Basically, a strange, warm, cozy copy of what is before you now, very near the cage. So, our options are get our unconscious friends. We can teleport between these rooms pretty easily, but I don't know how to get back. We'd have to go back through the dungeon all the way back here. True. <clears throat> if we were to leave. So, Alistair, I'm going to leave that to you. Do you want to just teleport to your father, break him out, and teleport back somewhere else? I don't or do we to... teleport to the queen and deal with that? How do we know that the table there is the same table here? I'm fairly certain. What if it's a decoy? What if they knew that we were going to find this and think of that? That seems very elaborate. Um, but my thought is she has to teleport from places. The places she spends the most time. True. So, obviously she was here to torment our dearly departed friend. Uh, and I, I'm assuming she keeps watch. Or It's easier for people to come and go if they're watching or tormenting. Or how she left that area. She brings in the prisoners and then she herself leaves. 
Sure, if we... I can try to go in there, grab them. Well, the thought would be, we all go there, we all grab them, and we all just fuck off to Shinebright or whatever, or we go after her directly. Honestly, at this point, I think we should just go after her directly. Uh... What she did to that dragon was just inhumane. All right, well, do we want to <laughs> set up your mansion and relax here? Um, do we really have the time to do that? Well, she probably have, knows we're here. I have used a solid chunk of magical energy. Yeah, you've been continuously preventing me from using mine, and now it's an issue. I just mean that, like, if we got into a fight, we might be a little unmatched. Yeah, your magic's much stronger than mine, so next time let me use my spells, damn still it. still here. I mean, I don't think my your magic is weaker than mine in any sense. You n No, compared to the shit I've seen you do, I, I have technical capabilities. You can blow people's heads off. <laughs> have I blown someone's head off? No, but you could. You're just not using it right. Which is understandable knowing you. Didn't you literally, Alistair, melt a guy's brain two sessions ago? Yeah. But I don't have the ability to teleport four people wherever the fuck I want them just because. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Um, also, those meteors you send into the goo. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's my strongest magical capability that I cannot do. You summon I meteors? They, they're made of they're hysteria meteors, yes. Sheesh. Um, if we want to set up, yeah, I guess we can. I, I'm, 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 it's up to everyone. I honestly, I, I don't think staying in these caves for a day is a good idea. But well, I just are I just... we going to kill the queen outright, or are we going to try to save light? I'm honestly, at this point, light. I think she's what, if possible, I would like to save light. But if we are not given that option or opportunity. We we didn't get any word back from my family. So, mm. uh, hold on, just so you know, I'm using seven sorcery points to give me back one level five spell. Okay. Uh, well. Shall we vote? Or what, what well, do we think? I, we can just... What is the... the sm we can... Ambush her, but A, we're going to be put in melee range with her. Um, actually, that might help us. She doesn't seem very... Like, when we last saw her, she's not very, like, muscular. Well, thing is, in her queen form, though, but Light was pretty... You know, he wasn't huge like Sam, but he was quite strong. Or seemed to be. But he didn't have the range. Well, you never really saw him fight, but... you he Yeah. fought to her. That's true. Yeah, you've only seen him uh, fight in close proximity. So either way, either form she's in, will either be um appearing and have the advantage, or we would be appearing and then we just have three of us who could have the advantage. Well, if we if we just teleport outside of the cage and make our goal to get that those two out and not engage with the queen right now. Then she'll just pull... kidnap them back again. We could leave them in a magnificent mansion for 24 hours while we uh, go about our, our business. I would have to be in range of it. I can't go too uh, far away from it or else it shuts down. Got it. Jason's frozen for your me. backpack. He is for me as well. I think he's doing that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> you. So... Best, what do you think? You're the practical one. That is true. Holden, how... We are nowhere near needing a long rest, correct? That's up to you guys. I mean, like, as far as time goes, no. Uh, okay. Yeah, you would. if you wanted the benefits of a long rest, you basically have to spend most of a day kind of chilling and then go to bed. Is, it, your best guess is it's maybe only noon, maybe... I'm missing some hit points, but I have everything else. I'm here. also missing some hit points. <laughs> I am not missing hit points, but I'm missing a, a, more than half my sorcery points and a, a chunk of spell slots. 
do we think we can teleport in and and grab them and shoot out? That's the option. That's option A. We go in, we grab okay. them, and we go back to Shine Bright. Okay, and then we're just worried about protecting them. Well, the problem is we're not dealing with the Queen. Then we're not here anymore. We'd have to come back. We'd have to go back to the church. We'd have to go back through the tunnels. We'd have True. to deal with all of that again to get but back But if here. we were to rescue them, they might help us in our fight against the Queen should it turn into a fight. Correct. And especially with Ravina, that might very much help us get light back. Very Correct. True. But, um... You... Mm, Dorne doesn't know this. Fuck. Mingling information. What if the magic that is making them asleep is stronger than something we can fix? And they'll sleep it off. Can I do an arcana check to see if it's just the sleep spell? Um, if you were right in we front of them, yes. But oh, duh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brain go brr. <laughs> We can figure out where this tunnel leads, where it comes out. Uh, perhaps it would be easier to come back this way. But I, the, thing, the thing is, I know for a fact she's not ahead. Right. Why don't we take them and ta transport them uh, to... Hold on, where there was a matching carpet in the um, in Light's office, correct? In Shine Bright? Um, no, not, no, not to this, no. Where is another place that... Well... Hmm... I say we keep going, find out where it leads. If it's a dead end, or if it leads to something that we don't want to do, we come back here and then take it from there. I think that's solid. Um, if, we, if, if, if we discover this leads to a decent exit or a better way to enter, we could, like I say, come back this way. Whereas I think going forward in the dungeon might be the worst option. We know it doesn't hold at least one of our current goals. That is correct. But it Exactly, so what could it hold? Others. More traps? We've already disabled eight of those with one spell. <laughs> uh, but again, we we're running low on magical be... energy. I think we should take Ravina and Alistair's dad and run and call that a success and make it back as soon as we can after ensuring their safety and health. How do we get in the cage? We got into a much more difficult cage. True. Probably something we'll have metal to door. figure out after we get there, too. <laughs> Not to mention Ravina, I think, would be a very good pawn to use against the queen to appeal to light, but... I would agree. Completely. I just... I, the only uh, the risky part of there's I'm, I'm just trying to be the middle ground here. The risky part of saving Ravina and Light primarily is if we can't wake them up. We I'm not very strong. We're just carrying dead weight with us for a little bit, and we're hoping that the Queen doesn't have the ability to teleport and get in wherever she wants to, because she can change appearance. Correct. I that believe might be something we have to deal with. Or I believe with. she's gotten into more difficult places than Shine Bright. Likely. You asked for my two cents, and that's that. Yes, I'm middle ground. I'm trying to help put pros and cons into every situation. Going after the queen leads us to we don't know where. That's the problem, and we don't know if there's a way out of that area. So even if we win. What the fuck happens next? Okay. Let's let's just all take a quick a quick let's say vote here. Moving from here. What's going on, Dorn? I just think a voting system is the worst way, because then someone's gonna be salty. When they want Okay, to be well popular... people are gonna be salty regardless of whichever option wins okay. if everybody's dissenting. But I'm not dissenting. I don't I know, worried. so you're um, worried about being the salty one. Everybody roll no, a d6, please. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Also, Doran, what does it mean to be salty? Um, I believe Angry. it's a colloquialism I heard from, uh... 
where's the place Doran's been <laughs> on the map that I could just bullshit Clara, are and you hold there to roll a d6? She's probably checking laundry. Um, From Wakefield. Wakefield uh, uses the term it's salty as a wonder upset. Oh, I, interesting. I assume she's going to be okay with me rolling one for her. Okay. Fuck you, Holden. Now Wakefield has to use the terms it's salty. That's okay. salty. I'm salty. <laughs> you guys can continue. Um. Alright. What if we took the rug with us? Are we real with you? I don't think the rug is the main sort of the complete source of what's going on. So you think the chairs are? I think it has to do with the chairs. But the rug is the thing that glows. The rug, and I point at the statue that uh, Alakai is called her focus. That's fair. I believe it's a, it's a very theme. pretty rug, though. I kind of want it. Correct. As far as I can tell, we have two choices to make at the moment. One is, do we teleport over to those folks or not? Uh, second is, do we figure out where this tunnel leads or not? Uh, uh, Six, I think me and you are the only ones who want to go down the tunnel. So let's backseat that for now. My not a problem. Then would be, I'm my options were go after the queen or go after the people. Since we have decided that going after the queen is a no-go in your two scenarios, we go after the people. I have a spell that I've been working on that I've actually been saving for the queen because she's a piece of shit that will nice. literally petrify her where she stands. But, so if I can get the drop on her... <laughs> but we also have to assume that she, you, you don't have the drop on her. Yeah. I say we go after the people. That's what Six says. Six, Six wants to go after the people. Where does Alistair sit? We'll find out where Bess sits when she... I sit Coming down at the table sit. and I point. I go right here. Good, good. I, I, I it guess... seems like the only viable answer here is to go teleport and to get the people and get out. So yeah, I, I, that's what I've got. You know, get your dad. As much as I you. don't want to do that, you know. Okay, we'll and see why, if Bess agrees. Why are you against doing that, Alistair? Because then we're at Shinebright. We're back where we started. Yeah, we have them both. Yes, they're unconscious. What if the queen walks in, takes them again like she did the first time? We can punch her in the face. Okay, what if it looks like... S whatever his name is, Samael. Congrats, um, she mimicked him. I'm going to take them to the infirmary. Gone. Ah. Uh, my thought then would be... <laughs> we'll pull a six unconscious and throw her in the mansion naughty sleeping kids go to the magnificent mansion well my thought would be then uh a simple uh reach out to her sorry for that i had to i had the bathroom and i had to do laundry and i'm i'm back now no prayer for one. My, my thought okay. would be we can reach out to her and set up another meeting I think that would be foolish. Not if we uh, this time not pussy out and actually go through with the plan. Why give her? A yeah, the last time we her? met her, though, she took a hostage, and then it wasn't we us pussying out; it was us making a tactical play so that my dad didn't get killed. We have the hostages with us this time. True. Well, they're but not we hostages. We set up a place, we put them in your mansion, and then we engage. We also have to think of what if it's not a sleep spell, what if it's a... Like... Ugh, I had this spell before, and I know the name of it. Uh... Hold on. I want to say oh. con contaminant, but I know it's not. Oh, contingency. Contingency. What if it's a spell like Contingency, where, you know, if this person moves, then that spell occurs? Well, I have, I've had that spell before. It's not a very high-level spell. My thought is... Okay, out of character, did anyone mention the entire, uh... What's Ravina's partner's name? Ravina? What do you mean? The, the guy who was asleep because of the dust plane. Oh, yeah, um, that was... Reggie. Uh, Re Reginald. Reggie. 
Did anyone mention Reggie and him sleeping and not being able to be woken up to Doran? Well, he was woken up. Yeah, but he wasn't able by normal means. Correct. Uh, I'm sure it has been uh, previous travels of your party have been mentioned in your downtime. What if it's the same thing that captured Reginald? And he and it required. You guessed it, the queen. <laughs> <sighs> it's at this point, with the d6 rolls, coming from the other end of the cavern in this direction, you be begin to hear a familiar chittering sound. Let's teleport to them now. I will, go and sit, I will go sit at the table and go, there's another teleportation thing there. Let's go back. Let's just head to them. <laughs> Worst comes to worst, we can come back this way and leave. All right. So you're all going to sit down. I would like to prepare the spell flash to stone just in case. Okay. You can you can have that ready. Uh Beth, you're the one who saw it. Actually, think, think this away. I'd like to have fireball prepared 6th level. Okay. I also had an idea for my arcane focus that I really like, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like a thing okay. that could happen. So I'm not going to do it yet, but I will talk to you about it. Can arcane focuses change color? Why not? Fuck yeah. It's magic, bitch. Do you see my spell um, load up? My arcane focus turns a blood red. Epic. Um, so <laughs> as the chittering increases in volume, and it sounds as though they are getting closer, Beth, um, the party is looking to you to make this teleportation happen. Um, what exactly are you doing? Uh, I'm going to think about where I want to go. Which is where? The area that I saw around the cage. So you wanna you wanna appear outside of the cage. Do we wanna appear outside of the cage or inside of the cage? I asked the party super quick. Put us at the table. If possible. Sounds fine. I'd like to put us at the table if possible. Okay. So you stop to think for a moment, you close your eyes, everybody you I assume you all follow suit and allow best to do her best as it starts happening i flip my cane over over and grab the handle in the bottom and just wait and go along with it okay you all close your eyes and wait best i need you to roll an arcana check an arcana check yes please let's go bessie baby don't fuck us a natural oh, oh, 20 baby. okay didn't see that coming okay so y'all sit there you you wait uh, for a moment let me make sure you Jason's here. Oh, did we Sorry, lose Jason? Frozen? Oh, no, oh, your yeah, webcam's just gone. He blanked out on his webcam. Oh. I just want to make sure he didn't disconnect. So. Got Sorry. You. Yeah, nope. as I figured it was kind of an important part. So. Sit, and you close your eyes, and you watch Bess begin to concentrate. Um, you... Before, when people were doing this, it took a, it took a couple moments, and then they got the tingly feeling, and then, you know, uh, shit started happening. With this, Bess closes her eyes, and within moments, you all start to feel tingles up and down your body that radiate from your feet all the way up to your head. And you can see through your eyelids um, as the, the octarine and uh, slightly bluish light starts to envelop all of you. And there is a flash. And suddenly, your eyes still closed. You're, at the, you're sitting at the table. It's warmer. It's cozier. And there's a fiddling sound echoing around you. And you open your eyes. And you are sat at exactly the same table in what appears to be a large, cozy house. And that's where we're going to pick up next time.